Let's go! Peace, peace, and welcome to another episode of Random Thoughts. Matter of fact, welcome to the season six premiere of Random Thoughts. I am your host, the L-Y-R to the I-C-S. It's Lyrics, y'all. Yeah, we are back. Finally, we are back after a long-ass hiatus. We are back. Uh, but I will say this, um, just to be on, on a serious note here for a minute, um, a lot of things have happened. Uh, hey, peace. What's going on, Tiffany? What's going on, Kimberly? Kimberly, wow. What's going Ooh. on? What's going on? Peace, peace. Uh, yo, Kimberly, congrats on the pregnancy and all that. We see you. You know what I'm saying? Um, but just more on a serious note, um, I just want to let you guys know real quick that I lost my father February 23rd, uh, Raymond Shinnery Sr. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he passed away. And for those who really know me know that I was very close to my dad. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, it, I ain't gonna lie. It was a trying time. You know what I'm saying? Just to wrap my head around it. You feel me? And um, only thing I want to say before we jump into today's episode. Thank you, Kimberly. Appreciate it. Um, yo, don't take your parents for granted. Your mother know your father. Whatever situations that may have happened in the past, whether they were there, they weren't, or whatever, understand one thing. I want you to understand one thing. Seriously. Thank you, John. Everybody has a story. You don't know what may have happened for them to be away from you. But I don't think any parent wants to be away from their child. You know, uh, unfortunately I've been, I've been a victim of, even though I did have both parents, they weren't like a, in the same house, you know? And, um, I know people who've been victims of it, you know, of uh, not having either, mostly not having a father, but then one or two friends that didn't have either or their mother or whatever have you, you know? And, um, as African-American people, we have to stop doing these single parent households and try try your best to make it work for the sake of the child despite whatever happened in your relationship understand one thing even if you do have to break up because of whatever reasons understand that you still have a child that needs you in their, in their life and uh you know try your best to make it work at least without the united states judicial system in the middle of it i mean yeah they change the laws for child support and everything else like that we'll probably get into it in another show but I just want to let you guys know because like, I, I ain't gonna lie, losing both my parents, there's an emptiness there that can't it, it 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 can't be replaced. And that's my pops right there, man. Um Raymond Shinnery Sr., you know, Ray Shinnery the blues man. Um cats know I come from music, you know, my dad was a blues musician. Y'all know I rap. You know, my son, he he played the trumpet in his high school, um, like his high school jazz band, you know, the WC Bryant. Uh, high school jazz band. Shout out to them. Uh, my son about to graduate high school anyway, man. He about to go on to college and do great things. But I just wanted to take the time to let people know that my dad, he was a great man. You know what I'm saying? A great blues musician. You know, he smiles. Thank you. You know, um, and like, you know, he's like one of the best people that you can ever know. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was, he was a funny dude too, man. Like, he, he, he still made me laugh this one joke that he told 
that you know what I'm saying that he made about my brother. I don't really want to tell because I don't, <laughs> don't want to put my brother out there. But yo, that should make me laugh every time, man. So you know, I always think about him in that aspect and that light. Please be there for your parents. You know, as you get older and as they they get older, you know, and just whatever advice, whatever guidance they try to give you, take that and run with it. Because right now it seems like we we're around the lost generation that just cares about nothing but sucking fucking and taking drugs and worried about whether they're going to live the next day. You know, they, they'd be lucky to see my age. You feel me? So, you know, I'm, I'm being dead ass serious when I say, please do not take your parents for granted. Anytime you get a chance, your mother and your father, it doesn't matter about how you feel about them. You know what I'm saying? Whether they were there during childhood or not. If you have an opportunity at any given moment to see your parents, give them a hug, a pound or something, kiss on the cheek, whatever. Tell them how much you love them. Because that shit can be taken away just like that. You feel me? Uh, like, I don't really feel it's big as a whole because at least I had I had a chance to, you know, have some type of conversation with my parents and, you know, and I tried my best to be there. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I'm not going to say I was there all the time, but I did try my best to be there. You know? Thank you very much. Mr. RJC78, thank you. You know, um, my condolences, V. Real shit. You know, none of your answers. Yeah, I, like somebody else said that same thing, man. Like, I know he looking down, he looking down, smiling, making jokes and shit. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to open up with that. And, um, you know, it's a great sunny day here in the Bronx, and we about to get it popping, man. Crew, what's popping? Let's get it. Let's do it. <clears throat> yeah, we back. <laughs> Season six. Thank you. Yes, you yes, ma'am. You would have thought. No, that's a fact. What's going on? That's a fact. We still going. And happy to be back. Happy to be back. Or the mother. How y'all doing? We chilling. Eric looking as stoic as ever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> new background what, though. New background. Yes, I love, yeah. we love it. We love it. The or the mother is, is, is terrific. Um, but yeah, I guess I guess I should start off. Um, good. Tell afternoon. who you is. Good and sunny afternoon, live from the DMV. Y'all know who it is. It's Steph, yo. <laughs> I don't know. I'm extra. I'm extra today. I don't know what's happening. It's Stephanie Gale. I'm here with the crew. Hey, what's going on, Kim? Yeah, yeah Steph. So, yeah, Steph, yeah. So glad to see Steph you. is extra because she found um, more um, lineage to her family. So now <laughs> she, she knows about um. 10% of her family tree, there's still another 90% that she still has yet to um discover, you know? <laughs> yeah, something Word. like that. Um, it, it's so funny, too. Like, uh, you know, speaking of which, not too long ago, I was I was, I was, was at work, and um, my intuition, I think it was the spirits talking to me, told me to approach this, this particular gentleman. And I'm taking his bags. And I looked down. Some told me to look at his tag, and I don't normally look at like bag tags. I looked yeah. at his tag. His last name was Hilliard. It was one of my relatives. I'm I'm sure. Of it. <laughs> I'm sure it was one of my relatives. I didn't know the dude, but I talked to him a little bit. It, it's crazy. It's madness. But anyway, Hilliard's a symbol. Hilliard's a symbol. <laughs> Nah, it's it's good to be back though. It's uh it's it's <clears throat> wonderful to be here with you guys. We're starting a new season, fresh off. We we're a little late today, but uh thank you all for waiting around and being so patient. And uh just just glad to see you all again. Like, Never yeah. have I been more happy to be in the sausage fest. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hey yo, Ed, what's popping, man? Like, yeah, that yeah. was stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Peace and love, y'all. ADV in the spot, Avis, and we're here with, of course, season six, the premiere of Random Thoughts Talk series. Shouts out to all the randos. 
Shouts out to all of our folks just everywhere. I'm um, sending you love, peace, and light. Check us out on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook. And of course, don't forget the website. I copied that from somebody, but he the spelling bee champ, so he's gonna spell it out. Uh, <laughs> but yes, sir. But, but other than that, y'all, man, it's it was dope. I had a I had a dope night yesterday. I went my um a good friend of mine opened up for DJ Quick, so um I did Ooh, some film. I did that's some what's film. Up. Yeah, I did some film work for him and got some shots as well as I got a few shots at DJ Quick. So it was a good time. That's dope. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Yo, famous Ramos. Ramos. What's going on, man? I'm not keeping busy. A lot of projects coming up. So, you know, but new season, new background. Looking forward to the rest of season six. You know, we got a bunch of interesting shows coming up. So, you know, hopefully the um, normal randos and you can make some new viewers. Let's see what's happening. Yeah, I nah, see our, that's I see a our subscribership is growing, so that that that's been wonderful. Um, and you got a birthday coming up in two weeks. Yeah, with the mother. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he tried to be happy about that. Getting grown, you know. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. You you are you will be the old vampire from Brooklyn. You might as well just accept it, man. You know what I mean? Aren't vampires already supposed to be old? You know what? You're right. Woo! Sometimes, nah, nah. <laughs> it depends. It depends on when they changed. Word the mother. Word the mother. Like, yo, uh, do we have any? Um, do we have any housekeeping? Um, well, actually, yeah, I, I, well, I do real quick. Um, even though uh, I just told you guys in the beginning of the show that my father has passed on in February, March thirty first would have been his 85th birthday. So happy heavenly birthday, Pops. You know what I'm saying? Um, once again, love you to death. Oh, you know what I'm saying? And um, I, I, oh, shit, hearts came out. Okay. And, um, has magic. you know, I mean, yo, keep rocking from heaven, man. Like, yo, we going, like, yo, we, we still bumping your shit here. Like, I just found out that my dad has a Spotify page. <laughs> Which is crazy. I'm like, like, damn, dad made the Spotify. I ain't making the Spotify yet. Shit. Fuck it. All right. Well, yeah, you know a, what I'm he saying? has a good team. Yeah, yeah. He got a team of something. I don't know them niggas. Like, you know what I'm saying? But shout out to my dad's team. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like continuing to the work the mother, you know what I'm saying? Um, to keep, you know, um so I somebody was somebody, you know, put up there. I, I don't know. You know, Even though I know dad. I know dad had, you know, his arrangements with people and stuff with when it came to the music and shit before before the pandemic. So, you know, Even though I, would I have questions about that. But we can talk about that off camera. No, we'll talk about off that off camera. Like, we're the mother. You know, um, yeah, man. Like, um, also, I want to say um, a happy belated uh, birthday to uh, my ex because uh, her birthday is a day before my father's. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, the one that makes Steph, the one that makes Steph drink that good liquor. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I'm, um, I'm looking at my liquor collection now. Don't do it. Do it. No, don't do it. Drink. Please don't do it. it. No, do that shit. Nah, yeah. he didn't say. Get out, he didn't say the name. So. Get that Dorothy Parker out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get that. Get that Dorothy Parker out, man. Should I get the Dorothy Parker? Stop. Out? Get the. Stop. Yeah, get the. Drink Excuse water. me. Drink Excuse water. me. I, I got one. No, we do not need that. So do I. So do I. I got water. Right now. No, it's a negative influence. We will negatively oh, influence, man. The, the closest All thing day. to me though is the we got the the Cruzian mango rum. I, I haven't I haven't touched it. No, touch, touch that wait, shit. Wait, wait you haven't touched it. it. You haven't touched it. But look, how, no, I haven't touched how? it today. I uh -oh. haven't touched it today. Lie it's Okay. It's been like two nah, weeks. Touch, touch that <laughs> shit today. Touch yeah, it right it's been, there. It's been like two pretty quick, man. Right? Nah, it's been like two weeks. I was, gonna, I was gonna say you got ripped off if you went to the store and it looked like that. Oh, you look like somebody drank it, put it back oh. in the shelf. Son. He was like, "Oh, if tested, it's good. No poison, no nothing in it. You're good." <laughs> no, I took, a, I took a big swig. Let me just. Uh, well, okay, I have. I was I have looking two. like a uh, Sandra Lee. I got. Oh two. yeah, also. <laughs> also, our brother, our brother, Steph, Steph know who I'm talking about. Um, our brother, one of the most disrespectful Aries motherfuckers that I know, but he's cool with us. Uh, Mr. Mech from my expert opinion. Shout out to 
the team there, my expert opinion or whatever have you. Um, Hoffa, we, we need to talk. You know what I'm saying? Um, dragon. Because I ain't see you in a minute, my nigga. Um, and yeah, the wait, Mech is a dragon now? Whatever? Nah, he, that was a symbol. He had a dragon. Oh, shit. We're, okay, my fault. I didn't know. Like, okay. Um, sh- shout out to Mr. Mech. You know, we hope you got drunk till you fell, you fell out. You know what I'm saying? And did some dumb shit. Um, hey, happy birthday, man. <clears throat> No uh, hold back C V peace. I got have you belated. Hey, no hold backs. I got two. Yeah. Nice What's the, uh, up in here. Yeah, you thank know. you. So yeah, no, what's your two birthdays? Belated. So happy belated birthday to I guess he's um one of our favorites that hasn't even came on yet, but happy belated birthday to Rubber Ducky Russ during mm-hmm. March. So yeah, so his birthday. That should be so, a holiday. <clears throat> I've been, trying to, call him. I've been trying to no. call him, but he don't answer. The only thing he sent me was, yo, listen, listen to that disc and then call me back. And like, I've been trying to call him. He ain't answering. So, hey, Robert yo, Ducky Rubber Ducky, Ducky stop playing, it, B. What if you hear this, about? Hey, you this? need to call me back. But happy belated let birthday, me, brother. Let me, let me say it in nigga form, okay? Listen, stop bullshitting, man. Call that man back. You bullshit. You talking all this old wild shit. Call him back, man. That's your man's. Everybody on Instagram send a bunch of rubber duckies his way. You know, emoji duck, rubber duckies. Make sure the man contacts add back. Yeah, yeah. Do it. Word the mother. And, and then, then hashtag ha- random thoughts. Yes. Don't forget that. And hashtag. then um happy early birthday to my grandmother. Her birthday's tomorrow. She's chilling local right now in Vegas at the other spot. So much love to my grandmother. Happy birthday, Granny. Yeah, Yo, we, yeah. we we hope we hope you hitting them high stake numbers and getting money. Oh shoot! Wait a minute. Yes, sir. I'm just being honest. Got gotcha. you. Or the mother. I gotta. If y'all hear the phone ringing, never mind that. You know where I'm I was, at. I was about to say, yeah. I was about to say, are you in the? back in the '80s. I'm like a. Call center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm back at the, yo. You know, I had a great turtle rebuttal for that, but you, you, my man, I ain't gonna do it to you. He's yeah. back at the Ninja Turtle head. Turtles, exactly. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> back in the sewers. Is <laughs> usually for the Jeep wrinkle. Oh my god. Oh shit. So, uh, as far as my 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 happy birthday shoutouts, um, happy birthday, first of all, to me. Cause y'all missed my birthday. Mine was, you know, oh, over yeah! Happy birthday! Happy over belated uh, born day, stuff. Happy belated born day. My fault. Mm. We don't ever, mm. we don't ever air on my birthday. I don't think. But um, anyway. No, I don't think we do. <laughs> nah, happy birthday to all the Pisces that we missed because we weren't on during that time. Uh, no holdbacks. TV is one of them. Uh, all the greats. Um, what else? Uh, happy happy birthday to. <laughs> The, uh, yesterday actually was my one of my grandniece's birthdays. So happy birthday to you, Nico Daniel. Uh she turned seven yesterday. Uh happy birthday to my homegirl uh Leah. And uh oh also happy belated to we talked about Mech. We need to talk yeah. about Mech. also um uh, I didn't get to I didn't get to tell him either, but I can say it right now. Happy belated birthday to to know a cunning linguist. Uh, his birthday. Oh yeah, yeah. Here. So happy, happy belated to him. Happy belated to my youngest niece, uh, Troy, aka Cookie. Um, she actually gave Wait. me this tea from her birthday party. The one that that's the one that was singing, right? The one that got the video, the music video out and all that. Yeah, yeah, the hiking. Troy. Video, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yo, happy birthday, Troy. Yo, we got to do something. Holla at me. So yeah, she gave me this teacup because I actually uh, helped her with the design uh, of the of the teacup. As you see, it's a heart. It's a heart in the brain that makes an, another heart, and it says Brim, which uh, stands for Be Righteous in Mind. That's her company. So oh, I uh, like that. That shit slick. Yeah, she gave me this teacup, so I hold that in high regard. I will take very good care of it, and. Uh, yeah, man, I, they, I'm sure there's some other <laughs> Aerie, Team Aries birthdays. I just can't think of them right now. Um, oh, yeah, happy happy Aerie future birthday to my, my baby mom's. Like, her birthday's the 13th, April 13th and shit. Mom. Like, I don't, I, we ain't airing that day, right? No? All right. <laughs> but, oh, yeah, happy heavenly birthday <clears throat> to my, my uncle, Calvin. 
Um, his birthday would be the fourth, actually next week, next the fourteenth. But your uncle yeah. Calvin. Yeah. Okay, we should. <laughs> okay. Rest in peace. Nah, oh, he's, sorry. He's in, Rest a, in, he's peace. in another okay. realm. Yeah. yeah. He's in another yeah. realm. But. Nah, because Ad was about to make some jokes. I, I know when Ad, when I look at Ad's eyes, the joke no. was coming. <laughs> no, because of so like, nah, I, so I don't want to hear that. The joke was coming. Understand. I don't care if people know, but that's my real name. Yes. No, you care because of, I can't call you Calvin. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, no, because if you do it, Calvin, y'all gonna think of the the McDonald's commercial and then also the Dave Chappelle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, I ain't say my future baby mom. mom. I said <laughs> my 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 BM man, my BM man, like my current baby mom, my only baby mother. Like yo, like damn nigga, like <laughs> this, like yo, why are you trying to put? Why are you trying to pit more people, well, more females on me? This nigga, you know. Oh man, he's trying to uncover more kids for you. Take yeah, we're, nah, we're, I'm we're, good. We're sorry, we're sorry, Miss Jackson. You know, we're sorry. We are for real. Speaking of um singing, right, yes, speaking about, about his outreach. upcoming date in April. Bruh. Oh yes, yes, I have a I have a show for 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 the folks in the uh, tri-state NYC area. Um, yeah, I'm doing a show in Brooklyn uh, on 420. Um, and I don't yeah. even smoke, but uh, every yeah, season we, or Taurus season. I think it's beginning of Taurus season. 20. Yes, this is beginning of Taurus season. Yes. Yep, because well, how would he know? Because he's on the cusp. His birthday exactly. is on the cusp. But um, I mean, the last day of, of Aries. Last day of Aries. Um, but yeah, we're wow. we're doing. I'm doing the show. I'm part of a band now, with uh, substantial, and uh, we're doing the show in Brooklyn on 420. I would love for the folks in the NYC area in the tri-state area to come through. Uh, we're doing it at a, at a spot called uh, 18th. What is it called? Uh, 18th Ward Brewing. Um, which is uh, on Richardson Street in Brooklyn, and uh, it's a really All nice right. spot and a lot of breweries over there. Um, I love that area because actually, where I used to get Dorothy Parker, there was a they had a, a bar over there called the Shanty, so I used to hang, I know that area pretty well. Um, please be there, please be there. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, no, 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 back to TV, man. She's a very important, she's a very important person, man. She got mad stuff that she had to do. You know what I'm yeah. saying, man? But no, she, I, I, I know she'll it. try to be there. She'll try to she'll try to be there. Well, for now, I'll just give you the info, but we're gonna be at 18th War Brewing. I would I would love y'all to be there. Um, but the yeah, make sure you get the tickets. Um, you can go to 18th War Brewing.com um for the tickets the seventeen dollars uh, before the show at the door, it's twenty dollars. Right, well, I'm so. paying at the door. <laughs> I'm just letting you know that I'm paying at the you're motherfucking paying, door. You're paying more. Well, we we'll appreciate. Yeah, it. yeah. Because like you gotta remember, like let me tell you something. I'm be, and this is just my personal opinion. If you are a true friend, you'll pay. You oh. know what I'm saying? If you know that that's their business, you'll pay. You know what I'm saying? I don't want like the the year of freebies is just about done. Unless, 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 you know they're just starting out. And even if. If you can give a little five ten dollars or something for a beat, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, you know you got to remember sometimes these 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 producers and we're gonna have the episode about beat makers and producers very soon. So I will be asking questions to the producers about that, about free beats and all that, and how they respond to it. You know what I'm saying? Because you know they man's in them or something. Hey yo, Shen, where the mother Shen? I see you on your thing. You doing your thing? Hey yo, son, yo. You know, I was thinking, man, you know, like, you know, my budget kind of tight. You think you could throw one of them beats or whatever? Just throw away, man. Yo, my man's, you're out. Nah, son, fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? If you are a true friend, you're going to pay for the work. That's real. Did lyrics at five or ten bucks for a beat? No, I'm just saying, like, that, like, if, they, if they're just starting out and they, you know, giving free beats or whatever... Like don't don't let it be free. Like give them at least five ten dollars just as starting off. You know something. You know what I'm saying? Like that's true. I never believed in freebies. Supposed to always be team support. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like for for real. You know what I mean? And and like I had I had to learn that the hard way when I was I ain't gonna lie to you when I was starting out rapping. I was seeing niggas get free beats. I was like, oh, are you getting free beats? 
You know what I'm saying? I had to, like, I came at cats like that. Niggas shut me down with the quickness. They was like, yo, nah, son, like, we, we eat off this. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's niggas that literally quit their jobs. You know what I'm saying? Because they know they sound is that nice, is that nasty to the point where they could charge whatever. You know what I'm saying? If we told you how much DJ Premier and Pete Rock and them niggas charge per beat, yeah, let me tell you, most of y'all wouldn't be able to afford a hi hat off these producers. You know what I'm saying? And and that's just the truth. Am I am I lying, Ed? Am I lying? As the person that produced uh, Steph, am I lying? No. Nope. Yo, Eric, I know you don't do beats, but am I lying? I've seen people charge, and yeah, I'm sure they charge a lot more into the tens of thousands or more, potentially. Yeah, the, the only thing I'm saying is support your friends. Support your friends, man. Put money in their pocket. If they open up a bakery, you know what I'm saying, man? Don't be like, oh, yo, let me get that free. Yo, let, let me get that free. Let me, let me, oh, let me get that free, um, that free piece of cake, or let me get that free muffin. Fuck that. Pay, pay the original price. You know what I'm saying? If they, if they charging like twenty or forty dollars a whole cake, pay the fucking price. Fuck out of here. All right, I'm done. We talking about food? Good, good. Um, segue. Yeah. We're talking about yeah. Muffin. Before we get, before we get into the food, though, I just want to send a special rest in peace. Uh, I hear in you. Prayer. I hear you, Ja. I hear you, Ja. We, yeah, we, I just, we end up doing that in in a bit, but continue. Um, I appreciate it, though. Yeah, I want to send prayers out and uh, healing energy, whatever you can. Uh, but uh, just a special rest in peace to um, the seven people that were killed in Gaza. Um, serving food uh, for the world uh, world kitchen, <clears throat> which uh, oh wow is yeah it's funded by by Jose Andres, uh, who does amazing work around the world um, for World Central Kitchen. That's what it's actually called. Uh, but there were there were seven people that were killed uh, by missiles, uh, serving food to to the hungry children in Gaza, um, which is just despicable and disgusting. Um, but, uh, it, I mean, it, there has been some good that has come out of it. Um, I, I see Israel, uh, as of this morning, uh, um, pulled back most of the troops. Um, they only have like one, I think one battalion, uh, near the border. So, um, I just wanted to send that out, um, to, to the folks that didn't know, but, um, I mean, I, I'm bringing it up because food is is just just one of those things that always brings people together. It always brings smiles to people's faces. Um, nothing uplifts the spirit more than you know food. Um, nothing helps you survive not not just physically but just like spiritually and psychologically than food. So yeah, no GMO, um, no GMO. But uh, yeah, fuck that GMO <laughs> shit, man. Good. Pure healthy food, like nothing. Nothing brings us together better than food. So, and, um, and like, and chopped cheese brings people together even more, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't say that, like, support. No, no, no. Don't you talk bad about my motherfucking chop? It's all right. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, no. But wait, we talk about regular aside. vegan or, or vegan chopped cheese. I'm just done. <laughs> no vegan. <laughs> Billy the Bull died for our nourishment. <laughs> Plain and simple. That chopped cheese actually looked pretty good, man. I'm getting kind of hungry. It's going to come back to haunt you. <laughs> Fuck it. With Fuck sequels. it. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, wait, wait. You said with extra seasoning? Fuck it. But, it yo. No, well, yeah, she said extra with, seasoning. She said sequels. Not sequels. Extra <laughs> with, with seasonings. Okay, great. <laughs> we, we can try it with different seasonings. Fuck it. But. <laughs> Support support your local corner stores. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, not nah, yo, you know, uh rest in peace to those people in, in Gaza, man. Uh, damn. Yo, this war, this war shit got crazy, man. It 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 uh, only thing I gotta say is my prayers to their families, you yeah. know. But um most definitely you guys uh, oh before we even before right before we start, guys. We have a PayPal account still. Yep. We still got it up. Yep. If anything, please contribute a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, ten. If you, even if you're courteous, if you're rich and you're courteous enough, even a hundred dollars. 
You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna hurt. You know what I'm saying? It's probably a tax write off for you. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? But we, I'm, I'm gonna let you know now. You know what I'm saying? I bet I, I'm, I'm one of the most modest people you could ever meet. Yeah. Uh, we do this out of pocket. <clears throat> yeah. If anything can, like anything that you guys can contribute, will be most helpful. Um, Steph, you can put the link up real quick, please, and we are gonna get that going with that. And part of the proceeds will go to the Ramos Retirement Fund. Okay, the Ramos Retirement Fund. Donate more that lyrics pays for beats. Yo, you stupid. Anyway, the the, the Ramos retirement fund is to make sure he gets the best. He eats the best montage and drinks the best drinks in in that of Thailand. You know what I'm saying? We try to have him retire to Thailand. No, What's no, it? thank you. Got right. connotations going on with that, man. Appreciate it though. Damn. He could be a passport, bro. It's all good. Uh, I don't do that. Why? You are, you try to you try to get this man killed, right? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying he go Thailand, like oh, <laughs> shit. But no, nah, let, let, let's let's. I, I think are you got are you guys ready? What happened? Because I think it's time to let the fuckery commence. Let's get it. Warning. The opinions expressed in this program are those of the presenter in their current state of mind, which they have the right to change at any given moment. The iRant Network and the members of the Ranters Union are not responsible for any claims made. All opinions and train of thoughts are welcomed here and protected by the First Amendment and the Ranters Union. All commentary, criticism, news reporting, research, teaching, and or scholarship of copyrighted material is protected by the Fair Use Act under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. I Rant Network and the founder of the Ranters Union, Ja Logic, a.k.a. Mr. M, recommends that you take what is said and do your own research. Read a goddamn book and form your own opinion. Furthermore, listen carefully to the ranters rant and debate their opinions and form your own conclusion. Thank you for watching this member-supported program powered by the Ranters Union and produced for the iRant Network. Good day. Yes, yes, and we are back all right uh steph she had to step away she'll be right back though you know what i'm saying but um guys you ready for the fuckery you guys ready for the fuckery of course you are of course i am but are you welcome here you already know all right my all right my nigga so we here and we are here as we get into episode 6-1, this is the season 6 premiere, as we'll be talking food comparisons. Now, I know what you're thinking, like, the fuck you talking about food comparisons? Well, let's think about, let's think about something, especially the African-American community and grits. Because we've been arguing about grits since for fucking ever. And what have we been arguing about grits? What we like on them. So we about to jump, we about to regret. Now, ever since I guess the 1800s or whatever the fuck, <laughs> grits has been an essential part of our uh, our diet for whatever the fuck reason it is. Um yeah, them shits is good with eggs, sausage, bacon, and some biscuits. You might want to put the gravy on there too, so. Yeah, <laughs> but that whatever the fuck she said, you know what I'm saying? Black community loves grits. I love grits. Grandma try each other's grits. I'm hey, the only one in the black community. Shit though. is real. You know what I'm like, saying? That's all I'm saying. I don't like grits. And Steph, for some reason, Steph is a black white person because she doesn't like grits. I don't like grits. I don't like watermelon. Oh, like excuse, cheese. excuse! No, 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 no. Let's go back to watermelon because watermelon's delicious. <laughs> Fuck, is you talking about? 
Nah, and, and that's and it's that's it's fruit it's and that's healthy for you. Stop playing with it me. It is it's very healthy, but it's a texture thing for me. I don't I don't like it. But you are untexted your ass there. Eat that. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I like I actually I like porridge better than I like grits. Well, well, all right, listen, listen, let, let, let's jump into it. All right, at least with grits. So uh <laughs> the like, biggest like, argument. Me. So the biggest argument among the African American community is what do you like on your grits? And I'm gonna be honest, I, I'm gonna start it off. When I was a kid, I used to love sugar in my grits. I would fight motherfuckers who didn't let me have sugar in my grits. Why did I like sugar in my grits? Because the shit tasted like uh what's that what's that shit? Um cream of wheat. Not cream of wheat. Farina motherfucking cream of wheat. That shit tasted so good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. That 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 was delicious. <laughs> and and if I can have that and you gave me some motherfucking grits, you better have some domino sugar next to you cuz I'm not trying to hear all that bullshit. Did you I'm say not no sugar? <laughs> you said domino sugar? That domino sugar. Yes, yeah, so that that that's a domino sugar is is like one of the oldest sugar uh distributors in the country. Not not just any sugar, domino sugar. Why? Because we was the broke. You know. Yeah. Dun dun dun. Domino everywhere. Is. They got a domino factory in Baltimore. They have a domino factory in, in New York. Well, it's no longer in, in function, but it used, well, it used to be, to be in yeah. Queens. Yeah. Yeah. The, big, the biggest one. In yeah. Now that's a fact. Yeah, that's a fact. And well, as I got older and I started to indulge in grits. Because I was forced to eat them shits as a kid without sugar. And I yeah, I got mad at the adults too, you know, um, for not having that good old domino sugar next to the grits. So I can have at least one good spoonful and you know, just sprinkle it around and you know, mash it up and it'd be the most delicious thing ever. But as I got older, I started to realize there's more to life than just sugar and grits. Um <laughs> Uh, matter of fact, a good friend of mine um, from No Hole Backs TV, you know, No Holes Back TV, she she said that she likes her grits with um, ketchup, you know, and uh, I, I'm, I'm I'm judging. So I'm just wanted to let you know that um, I'm just I'm secretly judging. Up. I'm freshening my breath with a wisp. Like okay. remember, no, remember No Holes Back, No Hole Backs. You said you like. Your grits with ketchup. Oh my goodness! Um, but as an adult, I, I either take either butter or cheese. Now it's like grits with butter or cheese. But I cannot have grits as grits. So I'm gonna go all around and ask you all, y'all, what you like on your grits. Yeah, okay. See, Tiffany says cheese grits. Ketchup with the happy face. Not Wait, just ketchup. not just ketchup. Whoa. Ketchup no. with the motherfucking happy face. No. no, 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 Steph. No, no, Steph. Ketchup with the happy face. Oh, God. Okay? Oh. And you better make a happy face with the motherfucker, too, or you she ain't gonna eat it. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I know. Guys, I know. But why, are let, shaming, why, why are we shaming ketchup for? Yep. Uh, <laughs> to make sure. Not, that, it, this sounds blasphemous. That's why, Eric, but I'm not tripping off of it. Everybody can have their own preference. I, I grew up with a whole group of people who love to experiment with different stuff, so and this ain't nothing new. Well, no, well, all right. Well, Advis, what do you like on your grits, sir? The way my, way my great granny will make it, which is basically with butter. That's really it. That's all I needed. I need anything mm. else. Okay. Oh, no, do you butter, and then of course they're gonna put salt and pepper, but yeah. Yeah, salt and pepper, right. All right, yeah. butter, salt, and pepper. If All I'm right. forced to eat it, yeah. And, and you I'm will pepper. be. You you will be forced to eat it, Steph. Because now, since I know you don't like grits, um, the next time you come to New York, I'm going to make sure. Mm, I'm good, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make sure to get you a hot uh, a hot pan of grits. Oh yeah, my gonna, goodness. Right. So and you better, you better eat and eat your I'm never take the high and I'm going to throw it on you. This is <laughs> not Madea. Try me. Black traditional way. <laughs> no, the fuck you ain't. You ain't throwing them motherfuckers on me. Now, what, you ain't, what? You think this is a Tyler Perry film? Talking you about you all throw some hot grits on me. Shit. You better serve me some damn porridge. 
I will eat the porridge. I will not eat the porridge. I do cheese in the grits sometimes. Still have. How the fuck do you make a happy face yes, with Al cheese? Green grits. With That's, you're right. Which... Right. Al Green grits. Oh, man. Yeah, y'all, y'all too much, man. I was going to say something very dark. But I'm, I'm a, Wait, hold on a second. He said, I like my grits with some pussy. Say it with me. Pussy. <laughs> Yo, this nigga is a laugh. I might throw up the page balance. <laughs> but, you know, because own. I, because yeah, I ain't gonna lie, there, I'm not there's some. <laughs> no, I'm saying because there's some people that like salmon with their grits. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll, especially I'll, canned I'll, I'll salmon. I can do that. It's some salmon. So wait, hold on. So you gonna have? So all right, you know what? It's it's if a part I'm, of it's a part of grits. Tolerate it. Like if I'm if I'm at a guest house and they happen to have grits and I'm just like, fine, all right. If you insist, I have to eat these fucking grits, but then not. Wait, then wait, doing... what, what are you fine? It has to be some. It has to be some meat. Or I'm, 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 <laughs> it got I'm, wait, Steph, it got to be some meat. It got to be some meat with the grits. Yeah, some pussy. No, um... in some ways I understand stuff because I'm a texture kind of dude. <laughs> wait, no hold back. Says she like meat with her grits, no pause. Hey, hey. Wait, Eric, Eric, wait. Eric, what'd you say? No, I said I, I kind of get what you're saying. Like I eat it. I've eaten grits before. I've eaten grits before I knew what grits was. It's, it's you know what it is. It's also a texture. And what do you like on your grits, Eric? What do you like? What do you I like on your grits? I don't like when my grits have cheese. lumps in it. I like cheese. You like cheese? Yeah. But I understand what Steph is saying. It's a texture. There's certain things, like for example, like like pies. I don't like um baked fruit and pies. Mm. That's like apples, whatever. Like something that does the consistency of like being baked and cooked throws me off. That's that's why I don't eat yogurt with with um with fruit pieces in it. Just what? Not my, not my thing. So you know, yeah, 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 you. <laughs> the only thing I can say about that is I, I'm judging you, Eric. You're my friend, but in my in the back of my mind, I'm judging you. Okay. The Who like the fuck does not like fruit in their pies? Just don't like the way it tastes. Uh, it depends. I'm not like a like a blueberry pie person or a cherry pie person. Yeah, cherry pie, I can't do it. Like, yeah, it depends right. well. It, it depends, on, shit, it depends on what kind of it. You know what I mean? It depends on what kind of cherry pie it is. Oh yeah, anyway. yeah. We like we love that cherry pie, but yeah. we don't like the other cherry pie. We love that cherry pie. Yeah, yeah. Um, hey, yo, hey, yo, Abbas. We so not, love so cherry American. pie. Exactly. Cherry pie. <laughs> exactly. That was in my we head. Exactly. Cherry pie. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> hey, I can't do this shit. Yo. Oh. oh. Oh my uh, goodness. <laughs> hey, yeah, why why yo Evans, why you why you got the serious look and be like you about to go to somebody's head right now? Oh no, man. No, I just no, I ended up getting I just got something from a homie. He just did an art piece for me, so that's why I'm looking at it. You good. Oh all right. All right. Like well, you know what? Let oh, oh that's dope. I like it. Yeah. Me like that, it. that look like it needs to be in a video game. I swear. Like that shit is oh, yeah, dope. It was mad like dope. So that's all. That's why he just sent it to me. So I was just like, yo, all right, man, I got to shout the brother out and then everything. The brother's name is Orlando, but on Instagram, I'm trying to remember right now because they always be changing their names. So, but yeah, it's um, Dan's in Grave. I, I'm not graving. I ain't going to say all this stuff, but shout out. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, DM me his info, man. I, I think I might hit him up with some art. Like, that shit dope, my nigga. Saucy! Whoa! Pause! Pause! Big pause, buddy. We ain't playing that sausage shit here. Like, no, nah, nigga. I love cherry pie. None of us. All right. None of, none of us. <laughs> none of us playing with that sausage. No, no diddy. All right. No diddy. Fuck out of here. No diddly. I'm about to... No diddly. <laughs> now, all right. So, getting off, getting off grits, because now everybody understands the concept of what I'm, what I'm saying. All right. So, check this out. The next one. This is more complicated because we got to go by cuts and all this other stuff. And the next food that I'm talking about, uh, so Steph had some cherry pie, is why she's making sure her breath fresh. We see you, Steph. 
<laughs> yeah, no hold back. She already know what it is. She already know what it is. Yeah. Yeah, that cherry pie delicious too, man. Yo, so you got the honey on the side. Okay, we ain't gonna do all that. But uh, listen, the next food that hey, hey, we are keep it going. The next food that we're talking about is steak. All right. No, the only reason. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, I don't take off my shades and shit, but I don't like to. And these are brand new shades, man. Shout out to my man Vic for giving me these shades. All right. So, listen. All right. <laughs> the next piece, the next piece of food that we're gonna be talking about is steak. Okay. So, uh, I've been arguing with uh, my coworkers. I've been arguing with these uh, good fellow people. I've been, I've been, I, hell, I've been arguing with people in the street. You know what I'm saying about this shit. Um, how do you like Ace? What's up, man? Um, how do you like hey, your Ace, steak? You? Steak is an adult medium. You know what? I'll I'll agree with you a medium well. Okay, but how how does everybody like this steak, Steph? I'm gonna start with you because you you are for some reason in the middle of vampire and human being. So. I'm I, I, I'm gonna start off with and you know why I'm saying this shit too because of how you like your steak. I know how you like it, but tell everybody else how do you like your steak? Um it varies and it just depends on the day. Um but definitely not mm. well done. We will stay away from that uh Michelin tire tasting shit. Um uh yeah, we, we do medium well. We do oh, medium man. Maybe some medium rare every once in a while, yeah. But I'm I'm usually medium the medium well. Thank you, Ja. Thank you. Yeah, no, we we hear you. We hear you. As a child, I got it well done. I didn't learn about the other levels until I became an adult. Um, no holdbacks. I feel that you're judging and keep doing that. Keep doing that. I'm proud of you. But um, okay. Um, Advis. <laughs> um. I know that you're not a like a, a meat eater, but once upon a time you did eat steak. So how do you like your steak? Sausage. No, not sausage. <laughs> steak. Oh so my I, god. <laughs> uh, what? Yeah, that's been that's almost been but like 12, 13 years. Mm. Not even longer than that, actually. But what it was well done. I think I have the same thing as um no hose back. Like I didn't know the differences of all the other like medium rare and all the other stuff. Usually it was just well well done. Mm, okay. Now nah, never judging, just telling my story. Ugh. Okay. Whatever you say, I'm with you on that. Um, Eric, um uh, you're a vampire, so I'm gonna assume what you like, but tell us. Well, Tell us how how do you like your how do you like your steak prepared? Well, how do you like it? Well, you know, how often because I, I, mean, I used to like medium, uh, I used to like it well, medium well, but mm. I'm more towards medium medium rare, and I for this reason, and this is a recent thing. Okay. When you eat a, when you eat something well, you're not getting the flavor of the of the steak. I realize that it's not juicy either. You're just eating like it's dry, and I agree I agree with Steph. It's, I realized that eating steak dry is not the best tasting steak. Think about it. I think. Fucking. Yo. <laughs> yeah, you're not you're not getting the full flavor. You're not getting that. You need a little bit of gamey I, taste. You need I, a little bit of that iron. And as well, I, yeah, I realized you're not probably getting full nutrients because you're cooking all the nutrients away. That's what any food you cook it too much. <laughs> Getting rid of the nutrients. Word. Now, okay, and I agree to it to a fault. Okay, reason being is because of where I'm about to go. Take it next. Now, the thing with steak, if if you're if you're a real food connoisseur like myself, you know, an original fat fuck like myself, um, you know that there are different cuts of steak, and um, we're gonna go first with. Uh, <laughs> Man, fuck the nutrients. <laughs> all right, all oh right so let, let's let's just get to the different cuts of steak. Uh, first, let's start off with flank. Okay, so would you say, uh, and this is a roundtable question, 
uh, about flank steaks. Would you say that it's uh, that you would get more nutrients cooking a flank steak medium rare, uh, medium rare or well done? Same. Steph? Um, Steph? Not, not well done because, um, like I said, most any cut of steak is going to taste well done, is going to taste uh, very rubbery and just no. Nah. <clears throat> I'd rather I'd rather go medium with that. It needs it needs to have a, it has some give to it. So That's okay, Eric. Yeah, I agree as well. Okay, like, right depending on the cut of the steak, you know, I mean, if the thicker cut of steak, you want to cook it a little longer, of course. I'm not saying you cook it like just hand the thing off the you know off the cow, cut it, and then pass it to the person. You know, some, some people, people like, like that though. Some people like <laughs> to see it on the outside. I've seen people do that before, um, but you know. I think you should cook it to a certain degree where it's where it's enough, and that's you know why I think I like a medium rare. Okay, Advis. He doesn't eat. He doesn't eat meat. <laughs> what about your tofu <laughs> steak? He not care. <laughs> I don't even do tofu. Once I start learning about all these other type of foods, like yeah, some of that stuff stay away from. But okay, I'm just going to I'm just going to be. I'm going to use the same answer. Everything is going to be well done for this steak portion of stuff. Okay. All right, cool. I, can, I respect that, and I like that because that's the same answer as me, with the exception of one cut, which we'll get into in a little bit. Now, tomahawk. Tomahawk is a very thick cut. Very thick fucking cut. Like, you can't do, you can't do tomahawk well done. I don't give a fuck how hard you try. <laughs> If you want to be extra, if you want to be extra, the correct term is breathitarian, but no, I am not. It is oh Eric, breathitarian. I've, I've heard Eric. Yeah, there, there, heard it, it, there's a such thing as called breathitarian, but yeah, that's very, 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 very rare. Not, not, not a steak pun, not a steak pun, but yeah, it's very rare. I'm understanding everybody <laughs> who's kind of Eritrean or breathitarian are frauds because they would die. Go ahead, Mercy. I guess I guess, yeah. I guess that's why they're very, 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 very rare. <laughs> it's they're probably, they sneaking, they're probably sneaking the stakes behind the curtains. Well, oh, I'm <laughs> you stupid. Well, uh, yeah, Eric. I like. All right, tomahawk. Same dude. You know, they could cook a little longer. I'm. I would. I would go more towards them well, like a little. You know, a little bit more towards well, but I wouldn't go medium well. I'd probably go. You know what I mean? And what would you what would you what would you think the perfect dinner for it would be with what the perfect servings with the tomahawk? What would you if, if let's just say you had a dinner prepared for you and your lady, what would you serve with the tomahawk steak? Uh, I I usually well, all steaks like I usually go for like greens, maybe potato, you know. What else? Yeah, depending you know more fancier places you know. I guess they probably put the get the mash with the, with the garlic in it, you know. I'm a good, I'm a big fan of that. Okay, uh, Steph, I asked. I asked. <laughs> Steph, I asked you the same question. Um, how how would you like your tomahawk steak? And if you were on a date with uh with a nice respectable lady. What would you and you know you was hooking the dinner up with the tomahawk? What servings would you have with the tomahawk? Um, I, I would go with Eric uh, as far as um, cooking. As far as the cooking time for the tomahawk, I would go more towards medium. Um, like I said, steak has to have give to it. Um, I I can't it can't be some I can't be struggling with my my steak so. It's got to be somewhere in the medium range. It's got just a little, little bit of blood in there. Um, and I would eat mine with, I like mashed potatoes with my steaks. Um, I'm a surf and turf person. And I'm learning this from my mother because apparently, um, you know, on my father's side, um, they're from Southern Maryland. And Southern Maryland people are like very, since they're close to the Chesapeake, they like a lot of seafood. And I'm a seafood person. I love seafood. Um, and they love their surf and turf. Um, and I, yeah, I would, I would have some scallops in there, 
um, maybe some shrimp um, and uh, some Brussels sprouts, some crispy Brussels sprouts. I like that. Not not crispy, but you know, well done Brussels sprouts. Okay, now, it's your it's your meal, crispy Brussels sprouts. Okay, my yeah. fault. Nah, with, a, right. with, with a hint of with a hint of honey on it. A hint of honey. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. No, nah, I mean it sounds intriguing. It does sound intriguing. Um, <laughs> Steph like that pussy. I mean steak at the end of the red light. Oh wow. <laughs> Damn. Oh I'll man. Take it um, all. Hey, mix that in there. I like that. I like that entire combination. Now, st- now, Ed, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna exclude you out of this because you you're a pescatarian, but we're gonna get to you in a minute with the pescatarian part of it. Um now what if I'm gonna say, say so, if you say so, but yeah, now you see no no title, no no I'm not a pescatarian anymore because of my title. No, you still pescatarian. I don't give a fuck about what that's the same thing right there. Nigga, you eat seafood. Fuck you talking about. Anyway, it's like I was saying. Like me personally, I like my tomahawk medium well. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'll give it medium well. The only reason why I say it because tomahawk, I think it's hard to cook well done because of the thickness of the meat. You know what I'm saying? That tomahawk steak, like T-bone steaks, real, the meat is real, real thick. So for me to sit there and say I want it well done, they would have to sear it, they put that motherfucker in, uh, in in the stove and let that shit overcook and all stuff. Nah, I, I I don't want the shit to bleed, but I you know I I feel that that would be that would be like a hard shoe rubber and shit. Wait, the only first, meat Steph would eat. Lol. <laughs> first of and, all, wait, with steak you you pan sear it first. You always pan sear steak thing. first, and then you throw it in the oven. And that made that that allows it to cook on the inside. No, that's what I say. Yeah, pan pan sear and then throw it in the oven. But like you I mean, as far as no, I didn't. I said pan sear and throw it in the oven. What are you talking about? You said it backwards. What? That's okay. No, no, you're trying to play me. But anyway, listen, I'm a, I'm looking to play back. And if I said it, I will apologize. But I don't think I I'm not that I don't think I'm not retarded. So like I I don't think so. But um anyway, <laughs> like I I like it medium well. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, the fairness of it. <laughs> Another bet. Hey. But um, if I were to cook something for a significant other, I would um, I would serve the tomahawk with um, some, um, honestly, some asparagus and garlic butter mashed potatoes. Homemade garlic butter mashed potatoes. Not that box shit. You know what I'm saying? Not the Idaho box shit. I'm talking about getting some actual Idaho mashed potatoes, peel them shits, mash them up myself, get the buttermilk or whatever the fuck, and the garlic, you know what I'm saying? Get some garlic, hook it up. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, uh, like a woman would love to see you hook it up like that, you know what I'm saying? And then get the homemade gravy, you know what I'm saying? At least better gravy than I had a Cracker Barrel down south in Savannah, Georgia. Like, Cracker Barrel was a disappointment. Like they biscuits and gravy, like nigga, you ain't got no sausage in your gravy. Fuck is you doing? What you doing? Like, why you giving me? Oh, sorry, I was, I was about to wild out. But anyway, you don't always have sausage and gravy. Then. Nah, so they ain't got the sausage in the gravy. Like, what the fuck they doing with their life? It's all you can eat, man. You gotta be careful. You get sausage, and people want to take all the gravy. <laughs> wait, 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 I guess on a date. She's a, wait, she, can drink, she can drink water beforehand. That's one. Two, asparagus, you know, asparagus is actually an aphrodisiac. It's a natural aphrodisiac. So, I mean, pair it with oysters. And pair it with oysters. Or halibut. Yeah, that's it. If you have halibut, if you have a halibut fish, you can you can do that too. That's also. Oh no, we got we're gonna get in the fish. We're gonna get in the fish very like after after this final cut of steak. <laughs> we're gonna get into the seafood. But the final cut that I want to talk about, and this is the only cut that I can eat medium rare, uh, filet mignon. Uh, well, we're not gonna talk about Porterhouse, New York Strip. We're not, we're not getting into all that. Oh no, just just because, just because, uh, because our good friend here, uh, Mister Mr. Brescatarian or whatever the fuck it is, um, Ed, <laughs> did did uh, you just say breast? Breast? Yeah, I said I said that. I said it. I said it. I don't give a fuck. Like, 
Nah, water before water beforehand doesn't work for that stuff. Or maybe you have to drink a lot. Uh -huh. Maybe. maybe. Y'all know what I feed my dates are oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we walked into oh that shit. I walked in, I walked into that shit. I ain't gonna oh, lie. Man. Fuck it. I walked into it. But um nah, but like filet mignon. So let uh all right, Eric. You you uh Eric, come on, bro. Come on, bro. How do you like your filet mignon? And what would you serve filet mignon with? I don't know, dude. This is this is filet mignon types of state we're gonna talk about. No, no, this is the last one. This is the final cut. Oh, filet, filet mignon is probably more uh, towards rare. Not not fully rare, but like medium rare. You know what I mean? And I don't know. What would I, what would I serve filet mignon? I haven't had filet mignon in a long time. I don't know. I'll tell you the truth. Yeah, it's just I'll one pass. of those cuts yeah. that's not, it's not fully set. Well, if you try to have to figure it out on the fly, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Yo, lady... Your lady like filet mignon, and you want to surprise her with some shit besides, you know what I'm saying, as the sides, like, what would you think coming off the fly? I don't know. Damn, you the know. worst, my nigga. Like, you, so you just go serve your lady filet mignon, and that's it. I figured like, it out. No, hit, hit, hit a beef. <laughs> like, no sides. Put the egg, put, put the, put the what? The frogs on the side? I don't know. Snails? You actually... You talking about French filet mignon? Like I, I, I got me going eating filet mignon all the time. Filet mignon expensive, my dude. All right, so let me, so all right, so let me, let me tell you, frogs, let me tell you, frogs would be good next to filet mignon, though. Really? Like, mm. yes, frog, frog legs are out of shit. They are like fried frog legs is cool. He got other meat to serve. <laughs> you know what? That's awesome. <laughs> that's dessert. That's dessert meat. You know what I'm saying? We we talk about denim, like yo, you would you go serve with the denim meat? But anyway, um, I all right. So once again, what I would serve with filet mignon because I like filet mignon medium rare. Okay, you could take, you could actually taste. No, no, and I'm. Uh, this is the only reason why I like filet mignon medium rare is because you can taste the flavor of the of the cut of the steak with whatever seasoning they put on it you know what i'm saying you don't really even need that much seasoning on the filet mignon you know what i'm saying um at least from the time i had it and what i would serve with it is what it what uh, was served on the plate at that time when i ate it which is once again asparagus and garlic butter mashed potatoes you can't go wrong with it you can't go wrong with asparagus and garlic butter mashed potatoes or or switch it up. Like Steph said, some nice crispy motherfucking um Brussels sprouts. Bang. Bang bang. 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 Now Steph, what would you serve with? How do you like your flaming yo and what would you serve with it? Um again, I'd I'd be in the medium, the medium well range, depending on the day. Okay. Um, I would I would serve it with some, like I said, scallops. I'd probably do like bacon wrapped scallops. Wow, on uh, an expensive no. ass meat like that? No, scallops. Listen to me, bacon wrapped scallops, bacon wrapped scallops, and shoot, maybe some uh some spinach on the side. Hmm. Nice, would know, it be and spinach, baby spinach? Would, okay, would it be natural baby spinach or the canned baby spinach? Like I said, natural, natural baby spinach. Okay, fresh. Put a little butter and some sea salt and a little bit of olive oil in there. Mm. That's all you need. Delish. That's that. That's mm. it. keep it natural. I, I could taste that shit right now, man. That shit delicious, boy. Like, Damn, yeah, ah, I keep dropping my whiskey. That's good. Yeah, that's your good spinach on the side. Oh man, mm, delish. So our, delish. Our, our pee won't stink after that. <laughs> mm. But that all right. That's enough for steaks. That's enough for steaks. So uh, because of our good friend here, um, yes, I uh, am young Ed. Yes, young when Ed you come to Maryland, I will. I will cook for you. Uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> How did I know somebody was gonna play the Popeye theme? Like, yo, oh my god. Um <laughs> stop cooking for me when I come to Maryland. Yes, okay. No, that's natural always best. Yes. That's what we want. Yeah. No, but um I Steph, she gonna hold Thanks. you to that. Okay. No whole back TV said she gonna hold you. I that. love the cook. I love the cook. I love the cook. And no, but never, Steph could never, Steph never could get down, man. Steph could get down. Steph could get down. Like I, I attest to that. Like Steph, she be on the grill talking about. Look, look, this is how Maryland motherfuckers do it, man. Like goddamn, Maryland make the best burgers. We make the best goddamn hot dog. Get your ass off the grill, nigga. Like he, like what the fuck, yo, Steph. Nobody said nothing, man. Now nah, Maryland niggas do it. Where, where my sauce? Like what? Nah, I, okay, I, 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 you, you nah, I've seen you. I've seen you, New York motherfuckers in action. Y'all just you y'all see? Just, see? Y'all just examine the grill. Like, what does this thing do again? What? It, wait. No, we examine the grill to make sure the shit is. We make sure it's clean. That's it. Like you know, what I'm saying yeah. stuff like stuff like move the fuck out of the way. God damn it! Like where the ribs at? Like I'm gonna lyrics, show you how we do it here in Maryland. In lyrics for defense. Every grill. I don't put that on my hat. I don't put that. I don't put that on every my grill hat. because every grill doesn't work the same. Use something with a high intensity, you're gonna burn your shit. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like I can't even jump on somebody else's grill like, like that. Huh? No, I don't put obey hot sauce on my sauce. What's that? Okay? What's that? Go on any sauce. Go-go. On any sausage. sauce. <laughs> what, what is that called? That sauce that you Maryland use. Oh shit! I use. I, I mean, I put I put hot sauce on eggs on my breakfast food. Yes, I do. Oh man! Yes, Tiffany, I be whipping in the kitchen. Whipping in the kitchen. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, nah, I got southern parents. I I know how to grill. No, nah, but nobody said nobody said you didn't know how to. Well, yeah, you know you New York, so yeah, you see there, there's some New Yorkers that know how to get down on the grill, man. I'm just saying. Sometimes when we well, look at the grill, we examine to see if it's the cleanest grills at the time before we do it. She still has connections to her Eastern Shore people and 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 her. All right, people. so we all got connections to Eastern Shore niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like yo, but still. <laughs> what? No, but her no, but her Maryland parents did did a good job. And then now, now hold on, hold on. Now it's her Maryland. Now it's her Maryland. Now her parents from Maryland. Her parents is from Maryland now. How you know her parents from Maryland? They passed. They passed. She just said it. She just. No, she. They passed down the skills to her. You know what? I I, I, I'm glad. I'm I'm so glad. Go ahead, man. Get out of here, man. I, I got family, and she got family in Maryland. She said she has southern parents. That's all right? right? Not not the, the, what you thought they lived in southern Maryland or some shit? Like you like, like she that thought she thought too. your parents were from southern Maryland. That can work too. Anyway, they again they passed it down to her, a New Yorker. I'm so glad that there is a New Yorker that actually knows how to grill on the on, on New Yorkers on, on. know how to grill. Stop playing with us, man. You wilding. Yeah, yeah. yeah I not the one. Okay, my me. ass. That's just throwing a bunch of mumble sauce on it. That's why. <laughs> it just pours it on. I actually haven't <laughs> had mumble sauce in quite some time. I miss it. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anywho, we're, we're moving on to seafood now. Uh, we, everybody bake. loves seafood. Everybody My, loves seafood. I, I bake too, yes. I make I make a mean German chocolate cake. My, oh, I'm a, I'm a brusketarian now. My German chocolate cake is unfuckwittable. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. No, yeah. you know what? I will say this: Steph's German chocolate cake is unfuckwittable. Like I, I, I I'll give her that. What, you know what I'm saying? You, um, would it make you say Guten Tag? Yeah, it would. Yes, yes, it would. You had it. You like, had I, it I, had, I had a piece. Oh, I, I had that. a piece. I, I had some at no, we had some at that the the, the COVID Thanksgiving. I brought some. I don't oh, you what about you didn't get about, any because the aunt because because Ramon's aunt was <laughs> was hogging it. Yeah, probably. She was like, <laughs> she had it. She had it in the corner like this, I taking haven't. bites. I was like, "Are you serious?" Man? I think that. Yeah, I'm. I'm sure I didn't, <laughs> have, I didn't have it. Like I said, unfuck. How about that. this? You need to bake one before you get here and give it to me when I come see you at your concert. Okay. Yeah, one, yeah, and, and I want an, I want another piece. I ain't gonna hold you because no, that shit is unfuckable. No, I gotta make it at their spot because German. I'm not gonna work. Very involved. Oh. 
No, well, you know, your, how about this? No, but your other thing works. Your your your, your air fryer works. Yeah, but you can no. bake it and then bring it in a carrying case and give it to me. You know how big German chocolate cake is? I make nah, three make layers. make a small one. Make a small one. Look, I nah, make but I make cupcakes. Yeah, that sounds good. Same thing. Uh, well, listen, 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 listen. We all want some of that German chocolate cake because that's your good in the motherfucker. All right? I'm just saying. You know what I mean? Like, yo. You... <laughs> what, what did you put there, John? Ja? Come on, man. <laughs> nah, yeah, John ja, ja put some shit in there and just took it off. What you put in there, dog? <laughs> Look, read it. <laughs> read what? <laughs> Under my name. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, man. Wow. Okay. Um uh, so so this is what we're gonna do next. Okay. Oh, Evan's like like y'all keep talking about food he doesn't eat. Like nah nah nigga, nah nigga, don't sit there and just pull up that shit and eat it like you eat that shit today and you don't eat no other junk food. Fuck out of here. You be That's eating like other shit. That looked like the one chip challenge. <laughs> Eating them blue corn, them blue Doritos. That's why he's drinking that water. Blue corn, organic blue corn chips. Okay. Ass. Okay. Anyway, listen, we're going to get into seafood because, uh, like, I know Advis loves seafood. I love seafood. He's going to buy me that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to throw that shit up later. you going <laughs> to. Y'all cold, forget y'all. <laughs> oh my god. You're mute. You're muted. <laughs> I just thought I was gonna eat some more. That was it. I don't, I don't think yeah. I want to hear some crunching, but yeah, I do like, I do those. like those. They apples. are good. I have another bag. I have another bag in the kitchen. You know, as much as we clowning you, I ain't gonna lie though. I be eating them shits too sometimes. I ain't gonna hold you. They pretty good. They decent. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like they decent. But um Let's get to seafood. So, I right, let, let's get to different types of fish because I, I like I as old the old I got the more I started really getting into fish and um, baked fish especially. Uh, but let's go with um, let's go with whitings because that that's uh, African Americans' favorite fish for some reason. Like whitings, we 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 fry them, we bake them, we throw them up in the air, fricassee them bitches. We we do everything. With no, nah, nah, let's yeah. go with, with whiting first. No, we go, we gonna get to that next. We gonna get to the catfish next. Oh, I'm I just said the start for whiting. That's black people's favorite fish. I'm telling catfish. Well, you bring people. you bring your ass up to New York, and I'm telling you, like nigga, for some reason, niggas just like white is whiting's out the ass, boy. Like yo, I I, I, I was no introduced sense. to whiting's. Like probably because you're your coke of, um, of all the fishes. That's why. <laughs> but I agree, catfish. Yes, I am a breastcatarian. <laughs> Eric, Eric, what were you gonna say? Sorry, Eric. Catfish is one of my favorites, especially when like I, there was a spot across the street from me. They take serve like fish and chips and catfish. Get it? Oh no, you right. Yo, catfish is the shit. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hold you. But I just wanted to start off with whitings because, like I said, especially like here in New York, for some odd reason, we just we niggas love whitings. You know what I'm saying? So. I'll say this. I, well, I'll say this. Like, um, like guys, personally, when, when it comes to whitings, okay, like, how do you how how do you like your whitings? Do you do you like it fried? Do you like it baked? Do you like it in a sandwich, or do you like it just as a meal in itself with with sides? Like, First talk all, to me. Why are you putting s on whiting? It's just whiting, even plural. It's whiting. No, nah, I don't give a fuck because it's me. Like I do, I do me. Like that's just what it is. I I do stupid shit. So what do you like? Why are you correcting me? <laughs> I'm done just 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 having a conversation with the spelling bee. Champion. No, I'll fuck with you. I'll fuck with you. I'll fuck with you. <laughs> I got your fucking spelling bee champion. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Don't make me take off my shades again. A anyway, um. Well, <laughs> no, whatever, nothing. All right. How do you like your whiting? Whiting, okay. How do you like your whiting? There it is, whiting. <laughs> now, motherfucker, I don't need that. Like I, I, I see it. It's whiting. You know what happened? We we live in a um, what's it called? Mandela effect. 
See, in steps in steps reality, it had no G. And no S. Oh, he's a white dude. Yeah, he, he, yeah he, he was pulling that, putting that S word. Oh his. boy, here we he go with the be- bullshit. Okay, <laughs> listen. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Average New Yorkers <laughs> put S on that shit. Let me get some white. He took, he took the glasses off. <laughs> all right. Go ahead, man. So let me tell you something. All right. <laughs> I'm oh, I'm gonna fuck man. it up on purpose. All right. Uh, That's maybe, it. Maybe, That's maybe, it. It has no S. You three said. No, it really doesn't have an S, but I, I just wanted I just wanted to be cute a little bit. Maybe I just want to say whitens. Fish. <laughs> this nigga ad, man. Like, yo, son, I can't deal with you, my nigga. Like, all right, so what, what we having the shades off or some shit? Like, what are we doing? Like, he said, said you're gonna take yours off, I'm gonna put mine on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, start start with you, Ad Biz, because Ad, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, yeah, you're you're the you're the show's pescatarian. So, you know, how do you like how do you like your whiting? How do you like it? How do you like it cooked and how do you like it served with what? I don't like how you were assuming, so I gotta take the glasses off. I'm just playing. Um <laughs> to be honest with you, to be honest with you, I don't think I've ever had whiting before. What? I don't think I have. Cause when I had I had to look it up to be honest when you said it. I don't think I've had whiting out here. Oh, damn, they ain't got white they they don't have whiting in California? They probably do, but honestly, the most the most great the most like normal stuff that I usually get is either they have catfish, I stopped eating tilapia, um, red snapper. Um, okay. they had um what's that? I think it's yellow tail. <laughs> Do they have porgies? I haven't had porgies out here, no. Porgies. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That, that is. But if really I did, good. if but if I did have white, and most likely I would just stick to how I usually do some of my salmon and have either some some spinach or spinach on the side with it, and most likely either grilled or baked. That's what's up. That's definitely what's up. I, I respect that, um, Eric. I will ask you the same question: uh, whitings. Uh, how do you like? How do you ha- how do you like it? How do you like the serve it with? <clears throat> You're muted. Muted. You muted, Eric. You muted. I said w- w- most fish, a separate salmon and salted cod. I usually like it in a po' boy. So whiting po' boy. That's why I usually go false. Okay. Mm. Now, I, yo, po' boys is delicious, man. Like we're the mama. Um. Yes, porgies is amazing. Um, Never heard of porgies. What is porgies? It's a, yo, it's Tristan, a what up, boy? Hey, what's Hilly. up? <laughs> Hilly. Do you say? Do you Hilly say R D symbol three? Do you say R D team? He said R D team. Uh, I think he meant R R T. That's all good. Fuck what's it. up, nephew? It's good to yo, see Tristan, you. what up, boy? When you gonna come back over here? We miss you. Um. Nah, but uh, ran- oh, random team. Okay, okay, okay. That works too. Smoke salmon. Let me tell you something. My my nephew can smoke anything. Mm. He... Yeah, of course, All of right. course. Yeah, nah, but he can smoke. He can smoke anything. Like it's smoked salmon. Delish. Um, That's what's up. <laughs> And okay. Since we're on a on a on a whiting topic, I'm a I'm gonna be honest with you. Whiting is probably my least favorite fish. Um, it just doesn't it doesn't have a lot of flavor to it, like natural yeah. flavor to it. It's very plain. You gotta, I mean, you that's gotta why a like lot of times. On it. What'd you say? You gotta add like butter and other stuff to it to make it like you know bring out the flavor. Yeah, yeah you really gotta. Yeah, you really gotta add a lot to it. That's why a lot of uh, you know a lot of people um salt salt their their whiting. And they make bacalao out of it. Um, Are you I, serious? I, I know. I know. Yeah, it's cod. Yeah, it's either cod, but sometimes they'll, they'll, they'll use whiting too. But, it, but it, that's what bacalao is salted cod. It's not it's salted. It's, yes, it's salted cod, but I'm saying some people salt the whiting as well. 
Yeah. Steph, man, come on, you know what man. You're saying? I, I understand. Trying to say change it, history. Trying to change I, history, Steph. Say, say it ain't so, man. You don't like you don't like white. I didn't say I didn't like it. It's just my least favorite. Uh, I, I agree with Steph. It's not the like I would be white, but it's not like my gold spoon. Yeah, that's not that's not my favorite fish. I really like um my some of my favorite. I love trout. Trout is amazing. Um, I just discovered uh bar baramondi. If we're talking about like saltwater fish, like like mm. nice meaty fish, because whiting is a is a good meaty fish, but uh baramondi is really good. Um if you Where ever want an alternative, from? it's uh I think it's native to Australia. It's a, it's a saltwater fish, you said? It's a saltwater fish, yeah. Yeah, see, whiting all day. See, V V smiles know what it is, like yo, but but anyway. However, if I'm gonna eat whiting. <laughs> I'm gonna have it with some kind of starch, so it's probably gonna be like uh, potato wedges or something. With my wife. All right, respect it, respect it. That's just Spot yeah. and croaker fish are really good as well. Yeah, yeah, like I heard about croaker fish. I haven't really heard much about spot, but I heard that croaker fish is is banging. You know what I'm saying? Um, Spot's really like, good. Yeah, yo, croaker um, is good too, and very. Uh, if you ever go fishing. Um, for croaker, it is uh, it's it's very interesting. Like when you're fishing, you can hear them breathing um in the water. So they sound never, they sound like bulldogs. I've never heard about this. Where is it from? Croaker fish? Where they're from? They're a lot, they're native to this this area, Maryland. Oh, your area? And what are they kind of mm -hmm. that like taste of it? Um croaker has like a I would say it's more on a it has a little bit of a salty flavor to it. Is it like lake trout? It's like yeah, like lake trout. Yeah, but it's, it's salt. It's like the the ocean, like it comes in there, like the wa salt water. Um, comes the lake. yeah. Well, yeah, I made it to the Chesapeake. Well, yeah, really I, I'm good. I'm not gonna lie to you. I love fried whiting. I love it fried, fried, dyed, and laid to the side. Fuck it, like they croak like frogs when out of water. Oh damn! Yeah. And they're very dangerous too. Like they will. Like if you don't, you have to like you have to hit them with like a stick or like, like like a bat or something because they like if they start wiggling they will knock you out. You're that like big? A, a big? Yes, they get very big. They're very aggressive. Well, you know what? That, that's what fishing. that's what that's what machetes is for. Yeah. No, that you don't kill like fish. You, yeah, like you want you want to act tough. You want to act tough? I'm, I'm serving you on a like. What do you mean don't kill it? Are we serving this nigga on the plate anyway? Nah, he come nah, die. You, no, you gotta you gotta kill it naturally. If you kill it too fast, yeah, I'm killing it naturally. Gonna go, the meat's gonna go bad. That's, oh, I that's see. Not Step how you do it? I thought no, you... I'm saying I'm killing it naturally. No, like you, yo, he he so tried to knock me on, out, so I'm gonna cut him. No, you put it on ice and you let it die that way. <laughs> <laughs> right there, beat the shit out of him. Life of pie, <laughs> life of pie style. Nah, nah, we're not doing that. That that and hey, the nigga gotta go. Like I'm sorry, like we, you gotta get on this plate real quick. Like my fault. You know what I'm saying? Like yo, listen, I heard you taste delicious. We got the seasoning in the back. My man's in them got the flour. Like yo, hey, you gotta go. Nah, but spot like, though, spot is spot is plentiful here. It's very easy to catch. Um, all they have as a, <coughs> as a defense mechanism is speed. So once you catch them, you just pick them up, throw them in, <laughs> and that's it. The spot's really good. It's yeah, got but a, not it's got a, like sweetness to it. Oh damn! Yeah, I really I'll good, say man. I I'll say this. My white whitings, I like it fried. Sometimes I like it in the sandwich. You know, say like whiting sandwich. Mm -hmm. You know, with with hot sauce on it. Like you got it with tartar sauce and hot sauce. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, if I had to serve it on a plate as a dinner, um, I like mac and cheese. Not just any mac and cheese. Ooh. Homemade mac and cheese. I'm talking about grandma and their mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? With um, with a vegetable. Not really. Well, that the mac and cheese would be a starch, but with the vegetables. Um, my cousin Pam, shout out to my cousin Pam, by the way, she makes this perfect summer salad. 
the summer salad mm. has um like uh not romaine lettuce what's the other lettuce uh it's not romaine but it, the lettuce iceberg Arugula? No, not iceberg. Arugula. Yes. Okay. Arugula. Arugula lettuce with um with some what onions, uh strawberries, uh, carrots. It's it's a summer it's a summer salad. So yeah. it's like a it has a light, sweet texture. So Throw like some raisins in there. That'd be dope. Well, I think she had I think she has dried cranberries in in, in hers. But like I said, this is this is my cousin's my cousin Pam's summer salad that I had over at her crib. So I was thinking what what two what two sides I would put with the with the whitings. And I remember having seafood mac and cheese over at her crib and she had the summer salad with it. And uh this was like a while back. You know, so shout out to my cousin Pam, shout out to La, shout out to all the kids and the dogs and everything, shout out to them and, and Ally and all that. So you know. Shout out to my cousin Juan. Y'all already know him. My cousin Maine, all of them. You let, know. Me, let me just um, say, it. as as far as whiting go, I, I will say I'd rather have my whiting deep fried uh, with the uh, with corn cornmeal. Okay, yeah, yeah, that cornmeal is crazy. Yeah, give me that. That right, cornmeal right, crazy. Cornbread. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. All right, now now we're gonna get to one of the most famous fish. The reason why I say this is one of the most famous fish is because let's. Any any way you turn on social media, that they, now they're making like Philly cheesesteaks out of this fish. You know what I'm saying? They making they make like, chopped cheese got, out of it too. They made chopped cheese out of it. They they yeah. also got like they also got like um the thick tender um fingers or whatever that like salmon. You know what I'm saying? Like salmon fingers and shit. So salmon salmon is gonna be our next fish that we're gonna be talking about. Um, like yo. St yo, Steph, I, I, yo, St me and Steph, we be talking about salmon sometimes too a lot and shit. Like, yo, Steph, you got to tell me because like, you could do so many fun things with salmon. How would you prepare your salmon and what sides? Let's go. I'm excited <laughs> about that, man, because salmon is is crazy. Um, I definitely like. <laughs> you had to one up me, right? <laughs> yeah, we're the mother. I can do that too. Okay, I can do that too. That might be the balloon one, but anyway. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, no! But uh, as far as my salmon goes, I like the again. I like the pan sear uh, salmon, and then throw it in the oven for a few minutes. Um, I keep it simple, you know. Um, I like mine with the uh, salt, pepper, uh, butter, olive oil. Um. Actually, you don't, you don't even need the butter. Salt, pepper, olive oil, uh, little rosemary. I like that on some onion salt. Um, I like mine like that. Um, I'd serve it with, whew, that's a tough one. Um, you can serve it with anything. I like it with broccoli. Um, I like it with uh, like um, some roasted carrots. Um, mm. um, again, some mashed potatoes or baked potato. Either but one. not just any mashed potatoes. You gotta have a garlic butter mashed potatoes. Mm. But first of all, first of all, my mashed potatoes already. First of all, my mashed potatoes are homemade and they always have garlic in them. So that's what I'm really, talking about. We don't, have, we don't have to worry about that. I also, as far mm. as mashed potatoes go, here's a little tip for everyone: you have to have one, more than one type of potato in your mashed potato. It's uh, best to go with like a an Idaho or um. What's the other one? Um, you the hoe. <laughs> that works too. Um, I like that. And, uh, Idaho and uh, you have to have Yukon gold. You definitely have to have Yukon gold in, as a mix. Um, no, that's a fact. It, brings, it, it makes it a little softer, gives it a little more uh, creaminess to the, to the mashed potatoes. That's a tip from me. Um, also, make sure you save your, your starch water. After you boil your your mashed potato or your potatoes, rather, make sure you keep some of that water. That also adds to the cream creaminess. But anyway, yes, that's how I would like my salmon. Um, as as a vegetable, what are the other vegetables? Of course, spinach or again Brussels sprouts. Any of those will do. Um, <laughs> I do like asparagus. I do like grilled asparagus as well. That also makes it great. <laughs> Eggs no, eggs no. Well, no, no. We gonna we gonna get to you. Matter of fact, but you, you, no. you, you done stuff or you got more? No, no, I'm not, I'm good. No, 
Uh, oh, potatoes. Mr. RJ, RJC78 said nobody talking about dill potatoes. What the no. hell are dill potatoes? I, thought I mean, I they're, fi- they're fine, but you know, no. And they are. <laughs> <laughs> Well, all right, Abbott, since you sitting there shaking your head, man, you getting your neck workout and shit. Um, like, I'm, oh, cauliflower, I'll fuck with that. I'm yeah, just but, not a person that likes, I just do not like Brussels sprouts or asparagus, that's all. I really do not like either one of those. Well, no, we, we, about to, we about to get to you. Like, Wait, how have you, right. how have you had the Brussels sprouts? The Brussels sprouts? Yeah, how have you had them? I want to... I forgot. I forgot how my mom and my grandmother um did it. But to be honest with you, it's I think it was probably just like a, a texture and taste thing at the same time. Cause I know I know they did it very I forgot. I forgot how well they actually did it. Like it was it looked good and presentable, but when I ate it, it was just not my speed. Nah, you need you need roasted or grilled. I'm telling you. You you you're there with Jam- with Jamel Hill. Jamel Hill was like that too. She did not like Brussels sprouts. And then she had it a certain way. I think it was in a salad. And she she said, I could actually rock with this. It's a, it's Brussels sprouts are tricky. Okay. You have that. If you have it boiled, no, no one really likes boiled Brussels sprouts, probably except me. Yeah, but, Brussels um, sprouts are probably the best. I think we'll no, nah, I go. I like nah, I ain't gonna lie. I like I like boiled Brussels sprouts too, but it's a certain way to do it. Like my my dad, God rest his soul. My dad, he made it was a special way he made it. You know what I'm saying? Like he used to um, get a pot, right? And he used to boil the Brussels sprouts until the water, until the water dissolved, and you had like a little bit of water in the in the, um in the pot. What he'll do is he'll he'll take a half a stick of margarine, not butter, but margarine, because he he felt you know margarine's a little bit more healthier than butter. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? Yes, and he'll take a half a stick of margarine, put it in there while there's still a little bit of water left in the um in the pot, and he'll take uh Lowry seasoning salt and Mrs. Dash, mm-hmm. and you know what I'm saying, season it with that, or he'll take Mrs. Dash when, when he when he um had diabetes and shit, he would he would he'll take a little bit of Lowry just for taste, and uh, Mrs. Dash seasoning salt, you know what I'm saying. And like, and when the butt, that, but that's when the butter melts in there and mix it with the water. He'll do that. He'll season it, put the put the um, the cover back on the pot. He'll let it like, you know, cook for like 15, 20 minutes. Oh my god! Like yo, mm-hmm. it, it's like the 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 outside of the um, Brussels sprouts fall off, but that shit is delicious, man. Where the most see, look, look, butter, salt, pepper, fresh cut bacon bits, and crushed red pepper. Yo, trust it. Tristan, Tristan, you, yo, you got to cook me some Brussels sprouts, bro. <laughs> like, nah, nah, where did my mother, son, like, my dad used to do that shit, and you brought me back, my nigga, and you remixing shit. So, my like, nephew. my nigga, tr- yo, I, I know, you, yo, listen here, listen here, nephew, all right? You my nephew now, nigga. I got, like, a lot of them. You you, you just added to the pack. He, like, did, he, <laughs> didn't, he didn't learn from his father, but he can cook. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't care who he learned from, but like, yo, listen, like, yo, son, like, you bring it, no, because the thing is, when he said that, it just rang a bell about, and I remember how my dad, you know what I'm saying, minus the red peppers and the bacon bits, but how my pops used to just whip it up, and, like, I, I miss that, I miss dad's Brussels sprouts, I'm not even gonna lie to you, man, just talking about that shit, man, but, uh, anyway, getting back on track, um, Steph, you, you finished on that? Yeah, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Okay. Uh Advis, gotta get to you, man. How would you how would you prepare your salmon and what would you serve it with? <laughs> this motherfucker right here. <laughs> uh, so he went back, he went back to the to, 80s with I that. I had to. I had to. I he had went to. straight back um, to the 80s with that. With the bucket hat and everything. With, with with salmon. Man, I like salmon. I like it grilled, baked, as well as I like stuffed salmon. So mm. I can. Well, but stuff with what? Me. I'm not gonna say me. Out of all y'all on here, I am definitely not no cook. I'm not <laughs> gonna cook somebody and kill them. But literally, I would have it. Um, stuffed salmon. It really doesn't matter. I've done. There's done. Um, there's been rice in them. There's been other stuff like fish with it, spinach. But definitely stuffed salmon. Either grilled or baked, um, 
the same thing like Steph, I would probably definitely put some spinach on the side. Definitely not Brussels sprouts still to this day. Um, <laughs> I've done what also some rice. If we do mashed potatoes, of course, it's always going to be garlic mashed potatoes. And the vegetables, well, I've done like mixed vegetables, but I, I'm not a carrot person. Mm. But yeah, that's how I would do it. Oh my God. When, when, uh oh. Oh, and, and and that's that's basically that's what it is, man, for the fish fry and everything. But I I don't, but I think that's whitings right there, or like catfish or something. I don't know, but um, yeah, yeah like yo, Eric. Oh, okay. Yo, yo, Eric, you with us? He's muted again. Sorry about that. Uh, oh, all so right. The salmon bakes. I would do baked salmon. With sweet potato mash and green beans. Ooh. With mm. Ooh. You said sweet potato mash. Yeah, mm. you got to go something sweet, you know, because, you know, the salmon adds yeah. a little bit to it. That yeah. is true. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Wait, you said sweet potato, sweet potato, uh, sweet mashed potato, and what else? And um, I said green beans, like um, sauteed on, on the stove with butter. And then maybe some mushrooms, you know, just throw some mushrooms in there, you know, slice okay. them up, potato them too. Okay. 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 Yeah, right there. Uh, yeah, no. Nah, thank hey, you for reminding me the, the sweet potato. It, that it, actually, lyrics, that lyrics, lyrics is allergic to mushrooms, so he couldn't have that. Oh, so just think Yeah, the I can't even have that shit, man. But, that, nah, man, but like, nah, He's that the shit, I would. VCC, sorry. <laughs> All right. Because yeah, because I was open for that bullshit that you just said. All right. <laughs> well, the way I would prepare it, I'll be honest with you. Um, like salmon, like I would, I would see. I would have to do it with steps at like pan sear it and then put it in the um the oven. But my but the difference is what I would do is I would get some Mrs. Dash, and I would get some cut slices of lemon and lime. And um, mm -hmm. you know, natural lemon juice, natural lime juice, some Mrs. Dash on there, a little bit, a pinch of Lowry seasoning for a uh, Lowry salt for taste. Not a lot, just just a smidgen, a pinch on each on each portion or each uh, piece of salmon, and then just like you know, bake it for as long as I can. And I would serve that with uh, actually. What Eric said was good. That uh, what is it? Mashed potato, uh, mashed sweet potatoes. But yes, I would, I would, I would, st I, I would do what Steph said. I would mix it. I would get like garlic, was it garlic butter mashed potatoes, but with yucca and or uh, Idaho, what was it Idaho potatoes? Yeah, Yukon gold, yeah. gold I and Idaho potatoes. I would, I would get that, and then also, I would also serve it with um. With with broccoli, right, but yeah, not yeah, just yeah. not just any broccoli, butter sautéed broccoli. Yes, you know, or should I say margarine sautéed broccoli? You know what I'm saying? Like I, I love broccoli. I love broccoli. Y'all can't tell me shit. Matter of fact, broccoli cauliflower mix. You know what I'm saying? Butter sautéed broccoli and cauliflower mix. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. yeah he would serve it with breast. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it, fuck it. If, listen, if my uh, girl go whip a titty out, fuck it, I'll serve with it. <laughs> like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh like that's it. Uh, y'all, y'all really should try red corn as well. Yeah, red corn is good. But wait, red corn? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you gotta show me a picture of red corn because I like I, I don't think I never even had red corn and shit. Red corn is like good. it. Yeah. Do they just call it red corn, or is like the shit really red? Like, I, yeah, it's red. really red. Yes. No, it's a different oh, type right. of the corn, right? Yeah. The black. Corn, nah, nigga. The black corn. corn. Yeah. Where you think he got the potato chips from? That's blue corn. Yeah. That you're right. Blue corn. I've heard of blue corn. That blue yeah, corn. So, corn. like, like you said, there's black corn. There's, there's red ones corn. that mix like black and yellow <sighs> on it, or yep. red and black. I think I've seen that as well. On, on mm. the top. All right, no, that no, that's what's up. That's definitely cross, what's up. Cross pollination, you know. No, but like with fish, like as you get older, fish 
I feel that fish, you know, you serve more with vegetables and shit as, you know what I'm saying? Because like, think about it, the older you are, the less fried foods that you got to have, you know, for health reasons and all that shit. Now, I'll be honest with you, I'm working on that now. I mean, it's not really helping because that fried chicken spot, as long as Kennedy's open, I'm just saying. Because, you know, all the people robbing things, all the shops are leaving New York. Not a, except for Kennedy. Kennedy's still here. Nah, man. They're going to be robbing chicken out of there and then they're going to have to close down too. <laughs> right. It's right. nigga, man. Like, right. Hey, yo, son, let me get that three piece right. Let me get that three piece now, son. Word to my mother. Nah. They got, br- they got bulletproof. They Well, where I'm at, they got bulletproof um, glass and shit. Too. Not where I'm at. Yeah. But and no, nah, but um, like all right. Well, the next fish, you know what I'm saying? Well, wait, do we got any more time or whatever? Let's see. We got less than twenty minutes. All right. Well, you know what? Then let's do it with a final, with a, with a special final, final thought here, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, even though we just coming back or whatever, we 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 yeah, we love being with you guys, man. We started a bit late. You know what I'm yeah, saying? We, yeah. All right. We got. We but got, we go. We got. We got like twenty minutes. Oh shit! I forgot. All right, fuck it. Whatever. All right. So, all right. So the so the fish, the final fish that we're gonna be talking about is what Steph said. Steph said this fish. Everybody loves this fish. Niggas love this fish. You know what I'm saying? That this episode got me feeling like a brescatarian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this episode is not sponsored in part by brescatarians. Cool. Um, also known as red sweet corn. Yes, sir. Although blue corn is healthier to eat. Okay. All right. But uh yeah, we all right, now we gotta talk about catfish. Everybody in their grandma and them love cat, especially down south and in Maryland, they love fucking catfish. Okay. Catfish is good with anything. Mm-hmm. I can mm-hmm. attest to that. Like my my nigga, like but matter of fact, let's just jump into it. Eric, what would you serve? How would you do your catfish and what would you serve it with? So I like my catfish fried. I think that's probably the best for catfish. That's my opinion. I'll yep. probably mm-hmm. do it with yellow, with yellow rice, maybe mm-hmm. um maybe baked beans. I'll go with corn too. I think I'll put some corn on there. Mm. Okay. 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 Good. That sounds like a meal. Yeah, that, that, that <laughs> yeah, man, gotta, yo. Catfish, you got to go a little more Louisiana. You know what I mean? You know, the, the rice, you know, just you know, yes, sir. Kind of spicy, a little more spicy stuff inside. You know, yep. Like jambalaya, right? You talk about yeah, like you jambalaya type. Yeah, you can do the yellow jambalaya rice. Okay, okay. Uh, Advis, um, how would you how would you do your catfish, and what would you serve it with? I think unanimously it's fried. I mean, it has to be fried. Um, mm. What I've done recently, shots out to, to SoCal Wings. It's just not only just chicken wings, but they also do fish there. But I've been. I heard about recently, SoCal Wings. I've been recently getting their, their catfish sandwich, which is, is on point. It's very much on point. So I would, from there, I usually would get, I get the catfish sandwich with. Um, I actually had they put fried zucchini, which I didn't think that was going to be actually good, but oh, um, with it, it was, great. yeah. So I had had zucchini with it, but like regular catfish. Um, my mom and them they usually also like to do um, potato salad along okay. with it. Um, okay. If it's that, sometimes they'll do coleslaw. If it's not potato, um, the potato salad. But yeah, I mean. Honestly, I think a lot of catfish can go with a lot. It's almost it's it's lit to me. I think a catfish, I think of it as literally the just the black mm. the, the jeans or the black of any colors. Like you can just match it almost with just about anything almost. No, that's a fact. But like, yo, hey yo, um John was like, yo, his wife makes banging zucchini fritters. Like I, I never even knew anything about a zucchini fritter. Like, yo, hey yo, John, like yo. Like John, I'm gonna holler at you later, man. Like, yo, so I gotta know about them zucchini fritters, cause like, yo, now you got me, you got me curious about zucchini fritters. Like, where the mother? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, yo, Steph, 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 Queen of the Sea, 
Steph. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> queen, queen of the queen cooking sea. <laughs> queen of that sea, Steph. All right. What? How, how do you like to prepare your catfish, and what would you like to serve it with? Um, I'd like it. I like it fried. I see her shirt says Queen. Damn. Yeah. So you know, yeah, her says Queen. Yep. Um, but uh, you know, I, again, I would like mine fried. Um, yeah, just like just like everyone else, you know, with some cornmeal or some fish fry. Um, throw, yep, throw it in that oil. Um, <laughs> except correcting this woman, I would uh, I would eat mine with uh. It's starch. I would, yeah, I would probably go with rice too, um, like a yellow rice, like like Eric and I would do. Um, I would actually top my rice with um, with tomatoes. I like the combination of tomatoes, corn, and okra. Um, mm. that, mm, yes, with, the, with some with some hot sauce on top of the the, the catfish. I mean, a, as, as you should, sauce. as you yeah. should. Exactly, it's not too. Yeah. As you should, some like some, I, some, uh, some type of deal. That yeah, the damn type of deal. Type of deal. I would probably go more for Louisiana style hot sauce, but yeah, or like McHenry. Oh, like McHenry. And McHenry, Tabasco yeah. sauce. Not not Tabasco sauce. Tabasco sauce. Is good. Don't get me started in Tabasco sauce. <laughs> 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 But that's Louisiana style. I'm just no, saying. Nah, no, but I don't think they use Tabasco sauce down, down there like that. I didn't see that. Yes, none. they do. McHenry's I, made in Louisiana. That's probably for the white people. They put it out here. You can have this. This is starter. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> well, um, I'm I'm going to say this. Um, oh, you would like that. I, uh, uh, what's okay. that? Was it Valencia? Yeah, but for, for catfish, I would go more for Louisiana style hot sauce. Okay. Sure. I, I feel like it goes better. Cool. Um, okay. Let's see. Steph, no, now you I know don't. you got that old, that old bay hot bay. sauce. No, I don't. <laughs> but, but you know what? I The last time I was in New York, actually for Geologic's birthday, I was going to pick up some of that, the old bay uh, hot sauce because they had it at one of the liquor stores and they had the vodka. The that's old bay thing? vodka. That's yes. A real that's a real hot thing. Hot sauce. They had hot sauce and they had vodka. Lord have mercy. And, they, well, and, and, I, that, and that vodka is banging, by the way. So what? Old Bay vodka? Yes. Did they put Old Bay, um, you know, yes. inside the it's vodka? Infused, it's infused with Old Bay. Yes. It joins. Wow. Vodka. It's surprisingly good. Yes. What you got to drink? What you can <sighs> drink it with, though? You can drink it with any. You put in. Uh, oh God. You can put it in a Bloody Mary. Okay, I can see that. That'd be great yeah. with Bloody Mary. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, what else can you? You can't drink coke with it or something. It would mess it up. You be growing up and shit. See that? Yep. See? Yep. He must be in Edgewater. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, listen, I, I, I'm like this, man. I, I like my catfish. Well, I'm, well, fried like anybody else, but due to the fact of health reasons and me just wanting to cut back on fried, I would try it baked. I would try it baked. You know what I'm saying? Just, just for a little, just for a twist. You know what I'm saying? A bit of a, you know, a different twist. I would try it like, um, what's that? What's that seasoning shit that uh, it's not really fried, but it's like baked. It looked Royal, fried, but it's baked. Royal, Royal. Shake, shake and bake. That shake, shake and bake shit. Yeah, I would try shake and bake on that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> just eat the breast. No fish lyrics. <laughs> Listen, oh, listen, we're gonna talk about the breasts later, man. Like when, when I find her or whoever that is, man, we're gonna talk about the breasts. But anyway, um, I would try it, I would try it baked, you know what I'm saying? With um <laughs> with once again fresh lime and, and lemon, you know what I'm saying? Fresh natural juices, you know, Mrs. Dash, and a sprinkle of Larry seasoning for taste. Um, I will also have it with wild rice and um yeah, like like actual wild rice. You know what I'm saying? Like jambalaya rice is great. That'd be great to show. But just I'm just giving people ideas for health reasons. Like for those who want to switch it up, just to be on some healthy stuff. You feel me? Like you, like I said, you do a baked lemon lime juice seasons and all that, and you get either wild rice or um 
what is it like uh like broccoli you know what i'm saying or spin or spinach you know what i'm saying but the spinach would have to be the spinach i'm thinking about it you know you could lightly you know you put a light thing of olive oil in it you know put some um some garlic in there mix that up you know what i'm saying just so you don't have to just have just boring ass spinach like the baby spinach that Steph was talking about. Baby spinach with a little bit of garlic, olive oil. You know what I'm saying? Chef that up with the wild rice. You know what I mean? Excuse me? When I said cream spinach, you think people are putting just regular spinach on a plate and just like, all right, go for it? No, I'm saying it. Of course, it's well, going it, it, to be cooked. Not, I should not assume, but I would just think <laughs> no, I'm saying, that cook. you know. There's some flavor <laughs> and other things on it, but well, listen, my, sure. li, li, I want to, I want to put it salad, but okay, no, no, I want to bring it up, you know what I'm saying? Because my ex used to prepare it this way, but she get the baby spinach, put some garlic in there, and cook a little bit of put a little bit of olive oil, chef it up that way. You feel me? And she's That's an outstanding. An my yeah. ex is an outstanding fucking cook. She cooked them lamb chops. Boy, I, I ate that shit to the bone gristle pause. Like, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, them lamb chops, nigga. But anyway, no, 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 get <laughs> shut up. Shut your <laughs> ass up. Anyway, like I said, you can do that. <laughs> anyway, you can do it like that. Or, or you can do it with some artichoke. Mmm, yeah. You know what I mean? Some artichoke and some garlic butter mashed potatoes. I don't know why, that's, don't know why artichoke sounds like <laughs> falls worthy, but uh, <laughs> wait, lyrics, everything you bring up, yeah, ex. What, what you say, nigga? Every time. What, what you say? No, no, you say lyrics, everything you bring up, yeah, every ex, time, something every time. time. Yeah. Nick, I only brought it up this one time, man. <laughs> you need the whole thing. Bring up your ex and. A future nut of you. Yours loses his wings. <laughs> well, I ain't using the motherfuckers right now, so I mean, what, oh sense, what sense would it make? Shit, oh, like, yo. Uh, I, I ain't trying to have my nuts fly anyway. Fuck it. Like, yo, <laughs> talking about losing his wings and shit. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I can't. I can't. <laughs> Oh. No, but it's 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 so the reason why I wanted to do this food comparison episode because like I said, we like it, it's it, there's beauties, there's a beauty in disagreement, especially when it comes to food. You know what I'm saying? Oh. It's it's a method to the madness. You feel me? It's like you know one what what one person loves, another person might question. You know what I'm saying? It, it it's basically all about respecting each other's um, taste in the world. You know what I'm saying? Like and <laughs> like ketchup, like like a ketchup with a, the smiley face ketchup on grits. That was you know what I'm saying? Eggs. What about what about ketchup on eggs? Uh, awesome, especially when you eat it with uh, home fries. If you eat it with it's yes, if up. you eat it with home fries, that it's acceptable. Oh, sunny side up by I itself. Like with sunny side up. God no. Um, mix that up. Yeah, all go in the same place. Wait, wait, would you hold on. Now, what'd you say now? Some home fries, yes. Tell me. With no, some... not no, not no. The glasses ain't coming off for you, Ed. It's coming off for you, Eric. What, what the what? fuck did you just say? What like you, say? you said you said ketchup on sunny side up eggs? Yeah, you eating the home fries with the sunny side. You, you eat everything with home with fries. Anyway. He said with home fries. Oh, okay. With the home, home fries. fries. Only when eating home fries. I put ketchup All right. everywhere. Acceptable. <laughs> you just not, don't give a not, Eric, not, you just don't give a fuck. Oh my god. You ever, if you ever go to a diner with me, you're gonna see it. I put a tremendous amount of ketchup on my sunny side and home fries. No, but yo, we, but listen, we gonna have that brunch episode, man. Like, and, and, Steph, and Steph, Steph talk about she want to cook on that motherfucker, so maybe she gonna cook sunny side up eggs. I don't know, shit. Like, did I say I wanted to cook on that? I thought, I thought you did. You ask, or did you ask me to cook on that motherfucker? No, you, you, you decided. You said, you said lyrics. I think. I, that I, I said no such I thing. I need to I, cook I, on this motherfucker. Like, <laughs> you know, with, with all the drinks that we're going to be having, I think I may need to chef up a bit. Okay, and, you're, uh, yeah, 
Yeah, you're yeah. gonna need to chef up a verse. Let's go. Okay, you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I approve that message. <laughs> we're, we're, we're gonna talk about that later, but now we're talking about chefing up food. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um no, nah, I got that verse for y'all, man. God damn. He's, he's thinking like these ladies out here that like that that are at that like to ask but don't ask. They just bring it up and and hope that you say yes. <laughs> no, I, I, I Jedi mind listen. Jedi mind Jedi mind 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 you want to cook? You want to? D- yeah. How do you, you want like to cook? I was just saying. Try to fertilize. How you like your egg? Try to fertilize the way you. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Oh Lord, boy! I, <laughs> no, I heard mac no. and cheese with ketchup tastes like spaghettios. No. You should test this, Spaghetti. Tristan. If you good. test, if you can test that shit if you wanna, like <laughs> they come back and tell us how it is. I feel like yeah. after, after after the age of twelve, spaghettios should not be consumed by adults. <laughs> the can taste, the, all the preservatives in that shit. Why would you eat that as an adult? Catfish killer. Oh shit. <laughs> Who? Oh, yeah. oh my god! Yeah, nah. I'm, I'm, uh, that's ketchup is one of those things that you just if if the if the food already has flavor, you really don't need ketchup. Ketchup just like kills flavor. I, it's just not. It's no ketchup is the flavor on eggs and home fries. Uh, I think it's more, I it's more the glue. It's the is the vinegar. It's the ke- it's the sugar in it, and then you put some. You know what I mean? It's it's the glue. The yeah, I guess yeah, a little bit. But I like. Oh, you like sunny side up eggs? I like over easy. The same thing. Just, all you do is cook, and you know what I mean? Yeah. It just has an extra yeah protection. Extra How you like your <laughs> egg? Try to fertilize the. <laughs> But um, <laughs> yeah. So that's that. That's it. That's all we got. I guess that's all we got. So final thoughts. Yeah. Final yes, thoughts. yes, sir. Well, yes, ma'am. Final thoughts. Advis. Final thoughts, man. Go eat some good food. That's it. Okay. Well, uh, Steph. Final thoughts. <laughs> mm, um. Well. One thing I thought about with the catfish, um, I would also add cornbread to that to that mix as well. I need yeah, mm. with catfish yeah. is is uh, top tier. Um, mm. Also, I just like I what said, kind of what kind of cornbread? What kind of cornbread? Homemade. I no, mean, you can do jiffy. Of... You can do jiffy too. No, no. I mean, like the jiffy different types of cornbread. Like you could get the, the you know some people would put the pan cornbread or the fluffy cornbread that has a little bit of flour. I would um, do the pan. I think pan. Would I do pan. Yeah. yeah, but that's that's me. That's my homemade cornbread. I, okay. I do pan. Pan. I mix it. I mix the flour and the cornbread. But yeah, that's my that's that's my thing. Um, with a lot of butter. I like a lot of butter in my cornbread. Um, but uh. I mean, final thoughts though. I'm I'm just gonna repeat what I said at the beginning when uh when I was sending my prayers to you know the families of the seven victims, um of the it's, uh, World Central Kitchen. Um, food is just one of those things that brings uh, people together, and um, and I love like me personally, I love spending time with my friends. It's the best. Um, I, that's how I have fun in my life. Um, I love uh, just cooking with my friends. Every time we get together, we have we cook. Uh, we usually do like a potluck thing. Uh, we have uh, drinks, a plenty, um, libations, corn, um, and it's just one of those. I, I love food for that the the commu- the communal aspect of it, and the fact that we can come together and create something beautiful. So um, yeah. Continue to learn how to cook, you know, bring more people together. Let's spread this world peace with this food. Um, And, uh, yeah, eat on. (laughs) Yes, sir. Yes, yes, ma'am. Like your eggs, try to fertilize. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Yo, Eric, final thoughts, man. Um, Yeah, I mean, Steph's talking about, you know, 
it's interesting. You ever, anybody ever seen Anthony Bourdain? He used to have the shows where he used to go and, you know, eat different food from different places. And you see the stories. And I agree, like, food is food is a story of the people who make it, right? Yeah. It tells you what where they came from. It tells you their history. And for sure, man, like, that's why I feel like people should always try to get out of their comfort zone. Because, you know, you, you they're different experience. Yep, that's it. Yeah. All right, yeah. cool. Like that's what's my, up. I like what my nephew said. <laughs> oh, yeah, he said, always try new foods that are within reason and make sure that the food is cooked right. Nobody wants to go through a uh, vama, what is it, Vamiria massacre? Except yeah. for sushi. You can eat oh. that raw. And not the one between the legs. Well, that's sometimes, but, you know. <laughs> I'm talking about the sushi, you know. Vamira, I mean, the one between the legs, as long as it's, 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 it's washed, and, you know, hey. But we'll get into that in the Wash Your Ass series, which we, we're going to have this season two. You thought we forgot? You thought we just bumped our heads? And, no, fuck that. We we got some for that ass. Oh, yeah. and that, Wash Your Ass. Also, I, can, we, can we talk about Jaws' uh, comment about uh, – uh, ketchup on eggs is like spuriously good. Oh do we know what spurious? We know what spuriously means. <laughs> at, at times, at times, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, uh, I. You know what? I think Job will look up for the definition and tell us before we we air out. But I mean, we 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 uh, be off air or whatever. But it's, I just want to say, basically, he's saying your parents are not married. <laughs> oh shit! You're a bastard. In a way that's false. And now oh, surprisingly, it. surprisingly, well, either one works <laughs> in a way that is false, not fierce. It is definitely good. <laughs> Listen, uh, my final thought is this, man. Like, you know, as long as you can have good food and, you know, eat good food and enjoy the company of friends and, you know, all that, like food does bring people together. Uh, although, you know, we have different taste buds and that's the beauty of this world. We have different taste buds, like we have different thoughts, we have different ideas, we have different dreams, goals, aspirations. Food comparison is just a part of what we go through in the world. Try your best not to judge somebody because they like ketchup on their eggs or ketchup on their grits or, you know, or like cheese on cheese wrapped up around bacon or some shit like that. Like it's just how they taste buds are. You know, I remember my, 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 my what? Question their culture. <laughs> well, what, all that. But no, I'm, I remember my brother, uh, uh, also the reason why I brought this episode up, because I remember my brother, shout out to Eric, you know what I'm saying, uh, E-Mac. Like, I remember my brother, when we were younger, he used to, um, like, when his wife used to cook breakfast, she used to cook, like, bacon, eggs, sausages, um, grits, eggs. and Well, I said eggs already. But the thing is, this motherfucker used to sit there, right? L literally, he takes, he would take his fucking fork, smash everything up together. Literally smash the bacon, the eggs, the sausage, even the biscuits. Just smash everything together. Take the ketchup. Pour the ketchup on it. And I'm looking at him like... Yo, what the fuck are you doing, bro? He said, it's all going down one place. Shut coming up. in, going out. Like, nigga, what? Like, I don't... Like, <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and, you, know, you gotta laugh at this shit because I, I, like, I, I wasn't laughing at the time, but he's sitting there, he dogging the plate up. And I'm sitting up looking at him like, this nigga here. Like, yo, I, I, I just, like... How do you smash everything? He's literally smashing everything up, pours ketchup on top, and says it's all going down one place. <laughs> like, I, I, yo, yo, I love my brother to death. He probably don't remember this because it happened so long ago. I love you to death, man, but we had some funny moments. <laughs> like, yo, we had some fun. And that was one of the funniest shit, the funniest moments I ever had, man. Yo, bro, love you to death. I hope you don't kick my ass when you see me, but like, yo, that, that shit, that shit was crazy. You know what I'm saying? But it's all love, though. You know what I mean? Um, like, yo, just en enjoy the enjoy the moments. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy the arguments, because guess what? At the end of the day, there's still somebody that likes sugar on their grits, and they're not gonna change for you or anybody else. 
It's just what it is. So this concludes this particular episode of Random Thoughts. Please join us next time as we get into episode 6-2, which is, Steph, I know it has something to do with COVID. Like, nah, lo yeah, loneliness in the post-COVID age. Loneliness in the post-COVID age. And trust me, there was a lot of lonely motherfuckers in the post-COVID age. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so you know what I mean? Like, at, like, at, like, I mean, during COVID, there was... There were, there were some people that, well, no, there was a lot of married couples that were about to be lonely. But post-COVID, yeah, there was a lot of lonely niggas. There were sex pods. A lot of people did sex pods, man. They were mm-hmm. Get it in. Yeah. I, I and, had fun. And, and there was a... Were we part of sex it, pods, Jeff? COVID was a... COVID time was a great, great time for me. I, yeah, I, well, see, you're, see you're, you're a person in making profits, okay? So we don't... You know what I'm saying? We, you're different, okay? You are a person in making profits. You know what I'm saying? A person in making profits. If um, you and, and I and I know Advin got message. the acronyms of that. Right. <laughs> he got the message of that shit. So you're you're special. You are a special case in a uh, good way. All right. But some of us were not as fortunate as you. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, there, there's a lot, there were a lot of divorces post COVID age. I was, I was a person that munch, munch and pussy, but um, yeah, uh, <laughs> was and to, <laughs> today's random word of the day is pussy. So, guys, we gotta go <laughs> for Advis. Come on, come on up, aka Young Ed, famous Ramos. The vampire from Brooklyn, Stephanie Gale, aka your mother's favorite lover, aka That's Stephanie enough. Big Draws, aka Steph Wonderless. This is your boy, the L Y R to the R C S lyrics, aka number one America's fat fuck. We are out of here. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Just enough. Doing this unlocks the puffs. Breaking the cycle, the cycles around the crust. Doing it to open up and find out this order and look for the story. Right through the space. Organizing your mind and it's tidy up your room in the place. Uh, but I'm ruminating. Looking for the place for the people saying that it's just illuminating the truth and the light. Just to see you were caged in. Trying to break out and find it free. Looking at the mountain top to see where can I top up the people in town. But they just waited for me to topple down. Come to a way that this is not right. Even over certain. I can adapt if I where I'm moving. But they keep on just lurking, looking. But there they go. Breaking up the fear and they go. But there they go. Lost with no answer. I'm trying not to lose it. So get out of my head. I'm trying not to lose it. So get out of my head. Making me lose it. Get out of my head. This emotional thread that try to tie me in. Tie me down and it's necessary to see this web and this world just spin. Making it straight out of the tapestry. Tapping in. What do I have? Really, if this is not socially done, then I cannot just tidy the craft. Keeping it out on my place, cause anytime this time management takes so much of my break, I can't even put it in a lucid date. Organizing regular duties just to evaluate risk, cause it's an everyday task just to understand and handle each and every risk. Crossing the roads, cause we don't know where that all of this goes. Just to see how these stones and the way that the boulders will roll. Looking at this like some highs and some lows, just so I can just see the chaos brewing from the other way inside. These prices and pains will keep. Keeping it out, but I'm defying the lows and I'm out. But here they go, breaking up the fear and they go. But here they go, lost with no answer. I'm trying not to lose it, so get out of my head. I'm trying not to lose it, so get out of my head. But there they go, bringing up the fear and they go. But there they go. Lost with no answer, I'm trying not to lose it, so get out of my head. I'm trying not to lose it, so get out of my head.